I can't believe I couldn't see Keep in the dark but you were there in front of me I've been sleeping a thousand years it seems Got to open my eyes to everything Without thought, without voice, without soul Don't let me die, oops There must be something more Bring me to life Wake me up inside Wake me up inside Call my name and save me from the dark to run before I come undone save me from the nothing I've become bring me to life bring me to life <laughs> not the rapping part oh my god i forgot that that was a thing <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed though that was actually the last song that i was gonna sing thank you for the applause thank you thank you i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> well now unfortunately yeah curtains have closed we're going back to just comfy beats with um art so for those of you who just came in, welcome in. My name is Himitoki. I'm an artist and variety streamer from Singapore. And I usually do art, actually. I seldom do singing. So this is one of the rare karaoke streams that you uh, will see me do. I'm actually wondering, I think I should uh, restart the stream because uh, karaoke streams tend to... I try to quietly with the rapping parts. <laughs> All this time, I can't believe I couldn't see. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, so I think I'm gonna restart stream real quick because um, the VOD for Tiny, get over here thank now. you so much for following the VOD for uh, the karaoke streams tend to be blocked all over, so I think it would be wise for me to restart stream just to do the arting segment, arting time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna just restart st stream real quick, and you guys can just reload it. I'll just end stream and start stream again. Alright, so stay tuned.
I'll be right back. We're back! Hey, hey! And we have our playlist, which is going to be Lily Pichu because I love her music so much. Oops, sorry. Let me try again. Are we back? Hello, hello! Are we back? I gotta get taller. Oh, jump catch game is part of the stream elements thing, but I don't uh, stream avatars, but I don't really know how it works. <laughs> okay, are we back already? Okay, I'm just waiting for the thing to come on. Five more minutes, please. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hey yo, welcome back guys! Sorry for the double ping. Uh, I just have to restart because it tends to Okay, let me just change my my song settings as well. Okay, how's this? Is the music volume okay? We're gonna be doing some art now. So previously I was working on like um I was working on, what's that called? Like a Christmas festive card. So for those of you who just came in, actually here's a quick welcome. Hello, hello. So there is like, um, I have some perks that I'm giving out. Oops, perks for this month. So we have some community goals, which you can see in the above uh, counter up here. Uh, I actually had some people cheering and stuff just now. So we have to update the counter. I have to do it manually. <laughs> Oops. So let me find going geek. Okay. Uh, he also gifted a sub to... Oh, wait. Oh, we just hit 400. Okay, that's not... That I'm not too far off. Or $404, actually. So, let me just change. 404. Himetoki not working right now. I am feeling a bit like my body is um, a bit exhausted. But it's because I haven't eaten yet. So, I'm just gonna grab some biscuits real quick. Uh, and also, like, order lunch. So, please... Um, Oh wait, am I streaming music? Oh, I should be streaming art, my bad. Okay, I've changed it. <laughs> I'm trying to be happy. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna take a quick break because I've been streaming for about... How long was the music stream? I forgot. Let me check my video. Oh, oh, I haven't published a VOD as well. So, the music stream was about... How long was that? two hours which is quite a long time it's it's super muted as well because <laughs> obviously um that's why we are changing or we're um restarting stream was so that the vod is not muted for the art part okay so let me just let me export thank you so much for thank you so much for the lurk and stuff i uh oh oh also quest so we are Part of I need to change my title here. Welcome perks quest. Arting time. Okay, I think we got a pretty good um Okay, so before I go on my break, uh, let me just show you what are what's happening right now. So, uh, I haven't filled up all the slots for the emote comms yet. So you can see that uh, subs you can use this emote is like the dead emote. <laughs> but I really like how it looks. So if you're interested in getting one, the slots fill up pretty quickly. So let me know uh, if you would like one uh, and order it from my Kofi. So these are $7 each. I've done about 20, 22 of them to date uh, for various people. So I really enjoy doing these. I might work on the three that have ordered already today. And then, oh, also, unfortunately, Early Bird just ended. So I'm going to... I'm 
going to this in. We gotta revise the prices as well. Early, early bird uh, period over. Sorry. Think about life emote. They're super cute. Life emote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like world is burning. I don't know what to do. That's pretty much the. <laughs> that's the vibe. Okay, so the minimum now is still 15. Change lights, change fit and drinks. Alright. And save changes. Alrighty. So this will be ongoing until maybe about mid of December. Then I'll close them. D did I write when I'm closing them? I didn't say. So far I've got a couple of orders which I finished up. But I would love to do more of these. Um, I am still con like um, experimenting with my art style though. So you may see like future YCH and stuff may not have the same style anymore. So if you like this one, it might not be the same always. Uh, do check out like... Do support it if you like it in this moment. All right, I am just xing away all of the tabs that I have. Oh my gosh, I have so many tabs. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna take a quick toilet break and also go um, order my lunch and stuff. So I will see you guys in a quick moment, okay? I wanna change the chair size. There we go. This is way more reasonable for a chair size. All right, I will be right back, guys. Meanwhile, feel free to contribute to the quest. Uh, consider all the stuff that's going on now, and uh, I'll be right back. Uh, give me like ten minutes. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna. Where is my back at? Back in ten minutes, ordering food. Hey, beer beast. Oh. 
You pack our swords and lanterns Cause I think there's something living in here Not that I'm scared or anything But I think I saw something up there It was scary sight Cause fighting like a fiend I will stand and fight Yeah, you can count on me I will protect you from this Dark, 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 dark world Full of lies Did you think you could rise against us? Pack on my nail potions Cause there's something evil living in here Not, not that I'm scared or anything But I think it's good to be prepared If a scary sight comes fighting like a fiend I will stand and fight, yeah you can count on me I will protect you from this dark, 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 dark world Full of lies, did you think you could rise against us? Don't you know? You could defeat me. I spy with my big red eyes. A feast for me in youthful splendor. I won't let you do it. I won't even let you try. I might be scared and I might just cry, but I will stand and I will fight. I will not let you take our lives away. But now that I've caught you in this change, and nothing you say would change your fate. Did you think you 
<clears throat> Hello, I'm back. Okay, I just realized I heated up my food, right? But I'm gonna have to eat it. So, <laughs> I, I have to like, I need a bit of time to eat actually. But meanwhile, we can like watch YouTube videos together or something. I'll just change my, um, I'll just change my title and uh, do just chatting. How does that sound? We discovered this really cool channel the other day that I enjoyed watching their video like thoroughly. So I think you guys will enjoy it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I intend on binging it uh, while I'm eating So I heated up some leftovers I have cheese fries I have teriyaki chicken rice And fried ebi As well as like cold cold mashed potato Chili says she's a huge fan of you Ah, Chili please You're so sweet Huh? I'm a huge fan of you Huh? <laughs> Pleasure getting to meet you more Okay, I'm gonna just... Okay, the the boy is coming over. He smells the food. So I have... <laughs> I can't show you guys on my Discord. What is what is the view right now? Stinky is out here just prowling. He wants my food. Stinky, go away. Stinky, shoo. Let me, let me send uh, my view to the general chat real quick. Go away, Stinky. Go, go. No, this is my food. Remember I said we were nearby for a while? She was with me. Oh? Dinosaur shirt raw. Oh no, I think I didn't. I didn't know. I think I didn't. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I wish I, I, I knew though. Okay. Let me show you what is going on right now with my... In my server Not in my server, but like in uh, on my desk This is what I'm seeing right now Stinky just out here wanting to eat my food but You can see a picture of all the food here also So we have cheese fries, leftovers It's a, it's a decent time, it's a decent meal I always forget to eat my leftovers So it's kind of good that, that we have this time to, to eat it <laughs> meow meow I know But irritating though I always have to like Shoo him away Okay let, let me Yeet the cat Oh my god Sometimes I do <laughs> Huh? Okay So the previous time We were having a meal together We watched this Which was Okay let me move my VTuber a bit we watch this channel, Answer in Progress. They have really well written and well done um, content. So we watched uh, why Japan's internet is designed differently and how cameras make us forget. So each video is about 10 minutes long. It's very informative as well. And there are three main casts uh, or three main hosts, Sabrina, Taha, and Melissa. And they're all three very eloquent, very well good presenters. So we're just going to enjoy some videos like that if, if that's okay with you. Let's do just chatting and change it to lunch. Okay, titles and all updated. Why smart people write bad? How dating apps keep you single? The science behind lo-fi music. What would you guys like to like to learn? Hmm. Dating apps keep you single? I actually, I actually got into all my past relationships. The past three at least were all because of dating apps. So I'm curious to know what this says also. Shall we watch this one then? Dating apps are broken and to prove it, I made a dating simulation for soup. Soup? Sabrina, why have you done this? Let me explain. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey there, I'm pretty sure you know this, but dating apps are massive. In the US alone, online dating is the most popular method for adults to meet, and that isn't going away anytime soon. The industry is currently Enjoy. estimated to be worth $4.4 billion, and it's still growing. But with all those users and all that money floating around, why do they suck? Have you ever heard someone talk about dating apps and say, Yeah, I love dating apps. There isn't any harassment or unsolicited Donkey Kongs. I'm just constantly connecting with people I enjoy being around and having engaging conversations. No, you don't, because that doesn't happen. In this video, we are going to figure out why that happens and hopefully how to fix it. 
to the books. You don't <laughs> need to use that translation. That was very weird. Okay. I started off with the I never Google use a dating search. app. It's That's set good. a rabbit hole of dating apps, horror stories, and statistics. I even had the chance to talk with some college students who are making their own dating app oh, cool. because they also found that the current apps kind of suck. I think we were kind of looking at like how people of Monet our own age, dating. Like college so students, cute. are actually using these dating apps. They're pretty exhausting. I think this like swipe left or right, like hot or not model, is pretty overdone. Um, Monet is a new dating style app, so dating slash friend making, um, where you send a drawing. You can draw. But I think that what we like about <laughs> drawing is that you just can't not be yourself. That's really what we're excited about encouraging. Monet dating. That is so Shout cute. Shout out to Monet dating for taking the time to chat with me. The things they said were a lot more meaningful compared to a lot of the articles I read that just made machine learning sound like magic. <laughs> Computer go boop, 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 found your soulmate. But overall, I got what mm -hmm. I needed. In order to understand why so many dating apps suck, you first need to understand how dating algorithms work. The most popular dating apps use machine learning to find potential matches. And when there's machine learning, there's data. The most obvious is whatever information you volunteer, like your name, gender, age, and location. But they also have access to permissions you provide, like social media sharing your favorite songs or interests. Finally, they have whatever you do on the app your use of the service. Companies can do multiple things with that data, which, <laughs> no side regret. note, it's always worth remembering that dating apps are for-profit companies. They are also fallible to security concerns. <laughs> your data is valuable, and you should always be cautious about what you share. That being said, their primary use of data is to inform their service, making matches. So how do they do that? Hmm. At an individual level, they learn your preferences by combining your filter mm. settings and your use of the service, mm. suggesting people who fit your oh. stated preferences and are similar to people you've matched with in the past. So if you're attracted to people with tattoos, there's a pretty strong likelihood you'll see more people with them in the future. Interesting. But you know what they say, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Apps also need to decide who you get shown to and where you sit in the deck of suggestions. So they consider other users like you. Similar history, preferences, data. The apps look at their matches because if someone likes them, they might like you as well. This process of grouping <laughs> similar Court users, thing, similar. combining their preferences, and making predictions <laughs> is called collaborative is filtering. Why, but that why just sorts you into a group of suck. people you may be shown to. What gets you to the top of the list? Well, this is where dating apps hold a surprising connection with chess. The oh. ELO rating system was originally designed to measure the relative skills of players in a zero-sum game, like chess. Oh. Or we have day. dating app ELO, excuse article, me? Tina revealed that they use a variation of the ELO system to assign each user with a desirability rating. Oh my Instead god! Of a chess game, it's you swiping on a stranger. <laughs> what? If they match with you, you win. And just like in chess, if you win against somebody who is known to be skilled, if you match with somebody highly desirable, your own ranking increases. What in now, the world? Now, isn't perfect in a lot of ways. There's that is interesting. Data, not to mention any time humanity and machine learning mix, it's just asking to perpetuate, if not amplify, harmful biases, usually about race. That aside, it <laughs> is very good oh, at no. one thing. Maximizing your number of potential matches. True. How any given app defines a potential match differs, but that is usually their goal. However, if your goal is to find the Dating one app, or two or more, whatever floats your boat, then we've got an issue because that is a minimax problem. In other words, mm -hmm. your goal is to cull that list of potential matches down to people you have an actual chance with. But as apps oh, become yeah, more that's popular, what I used there to are do. more people <laughs> using the app. Naturally, this Tylee, more get over here oh, now! Sorry, that was so your loud. Job a whole lot harder due to choice overload. This You're is a cognitive impairment in which people have a difficult time making a decision when faced with many options. Hmm. And mind you, it's not that options themselves are a bad thing. It's just that you can have too much of a good thing. True. You see, way back in 2005, the psychologist Barry Schwartz put out this banger of a TED Talk. Let the me just zoom in for a choice. second because y'all need to see his fit. Look at this icon. Look at this. Do you see this? Love it. I could never. Anyway, it is astoundingly relevant 16 years later. More Ooh. potential matches increases the likelihood of decision paralysis. That means getting overwhelmed at the idea of talking to a bunch of people and going on a million first dates. So you burn out and give up. 
Luckily, the way I see it, there are two potential ways to counteract choice overload. Hmm. Simplify making comparisons between the choices or reducing the number of choices altogether. Which one should you try? Well, there are two options and I have two friends. So naturally, <laughs> it's time to do experiments on. My job is to make college. Melissa and Taha are gonna make. Okay, so. Basically, I need to simulate a apps? scenario where Melissa and Taha can experience choice overload followed by one of the potential solutions. However, this channel isn't about our dating lives. Drawing a strong boundary between public and private is incredibly important. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna use a pretty natural metaphor for potential romantic interest. Soup. Yep. Soup. Why? It's because when I asked Melissa how we can find the one without using human beings, she said, <coughs> I love soup. What if we found my favorite one? And to that idea, Tom what? said, Soup is a fun word. My friends are weirder than <laughs> I am. Anyway, I'm gonna make a dating Soup sim. is a fun word. <laughs> this video is taking very weird turns very quickly. Basically, while I was figuring out how to simulate that a dating sounds scenario, so fun. Uh, I played the only dating sim that I know of. Hatterful boyfriend. Hatterful Otherwise boyfriend. known as the pigeon dating game. Ah, are we just played birds this. Or are they all pigeons? I've just come to realize that I don't know what a pigeon is. There's no ending point. No, there's so many choices. Maybe I should have paid attention. I remember this game. It's fun. It went pretty poorly, mainly because I got really overwhelmed at the beginning. Was it because I'm illiterate? or because of choice overload. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a dating sim to simulate choice overload with Melissa and Taha. I'm gonna throw a bunch of soups at them, digitally. To get the soups, I asked you guys on Twitter what your favorite soup play. is, and the I shocking play amount the of you replied. Oh. It got over a hundred responses. Some of y'all listed more than one soup in your response. Didn't realize we were so passionate about soup. Am I a boomer? Anyway, I grabbed the seven most popular soups, approximately. But now, how are we going to solve the choice overload problem? I want to well, play the soup I'm dating going to sim. Customize the ending of the game. Melissa oh. is going to get the simplified comparisons treatment, so she will have to make choices that will lead to one specific soup. Taha will get the choice reduction treatment. I'll need to make some sort of game mechanic that reduces the number of soup options to like three, which is less than seven. Ooh. Let's go. I spent the next two full days writing, designing, oh my God. and putting she up this terrible, whole game. terrible game. Ah! I'm somehow ahead of where I expected to be at this point. But Are also, you okay? I don't even know if it's good anymore. I blinked and it was 1.30 a.m. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles. Uh, I've drawn all the characters and now I'm wow. on my computer and seeing them here. It just makes it feel so much more real, gang. Look at this! <laughs> it's done. <laughs> this is the hardest I've ever worked for a video, and that includes the time that I read a whole bunch of penal codes. Anyway, may I present to you... I'm at the soup. In your heart. A dating <laughs> sim. Anyway, I'm gonna Can send this over this? to Melissa and Taha now. I hope they stay friends with me. It is so cute. It's very ratatouille oh, so should, far. I should move hey. myself. What are you doing here? Cereal? Who gave that suggestion? Feels like misogyny, but it isn't. What's it like not being the biggest soup? <laughs> this is not funny at all. I'm not sure why I'm laughing. I am how you say quench. Why is, <laughs> why is there clam chowder? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I thought I wasn't dying. If this was the last moment of my dying brain, I think I deserve to die. Cool, so I got chicken soup. Hold what up. I was supposed to do with that information. Rather chewy? So I picked tomato, but I didn't feel like I made any choices. Okay, so now Superim we're gonna go talk to Sabrina and the crew. And, What's uh, happening? See what happens. <laughs> Hello, gang. Why? What soup did you guys get? I got chicken noodle. I don't know how though. The first question was, do you like meat in your soup? And I was just like, I mean, I do, I guess sometimes, but I hit no for that answer. And so <laughs> how did I end up with chicken noodle soup? That might just be me making a mistake. <laughs> your questions were about the soup? Yeah. So here's the thing. 
you guys got different versions of the game. And I will say that Taha got the weirder one. The PA rang and was like, it's time for the Hunger Games. And then it was like, well, four of your classmates just passed away. There are only huh? three left. Choose between what? these three soups. I picked, I picked tomato soup. The only one I cared about was tomato. Because it's the only soup I have had. Huh? Because it's the only soup I have had. Was this a waste of time? Why couldn't we have just made a normal video? <laughs> so... And cut. That was a failure. Maybe it was sleep exhaustion that made me think that this experiment designed at 2 a.m. with sample size 2 and generalizability 0 would work. But for a second there, I really thought it would. However, believe it or not, we can take a few lessons away from this dumpster fire of a situation. One, you might be like Taha and inexplicably have only ever tried one soup in your life, but that's okay because you like that soup. If you know, you know, and you shouldn't subject yourself to a bunch of unnecessary options for no reason. Two, you might be like <laughs> Melissa and be extremely dissatisfied with my soup-based questions. You can see those soup-based questions if you subscribe to our newsletter because I'm going to make this game an exclusive. Anyway, oh my God. your dissatisfaction was probably because romance and soup are deeply personal things. You can define Tomato your own and framework based soup. on yeah, things good that soups. you care about. And so, just like organizational systems, you need to dedicate some time to understand what you care about and define a framework that works for you. Finally, number three. If you want some dating advice that is not based on my soup struggle, here's what Helen Fisher, the chief scientific advisor for Match.com, had to say. The brain oh. is not well built to choose between hundreds, if not thousands, of alternatives. So what I would recommend is that you stop. If you're a dating person, after you've met nine people, the brain doesn't deal with more than about nine, stop and get to know one person more. So if your dating app oh. experience sucks, maybe just slow down for Change a second. Change your approach. Put more effort into getting to know people rather than just swiping back and forth forever. And if it still sucks after that, well, it's because unfortunately, dating itself kind of sucks. <laughs> but at least we'll always have soup. That's true. I hope you liked that video. If you did, you might enjoy this. That was a really good video. So this one is the sponsored part. But I think for me, as someone who has been using dating apps since I was about 17, 18, it's more important to know what you want and decide on the people that you want to get to know. But also to be nice about it. I think it's really rare for people to be nice on dating apps. like. They're just, oh, you know, people that you swipe on and you see once. But those are real people behind behind the profiles. If you're going to ghost someone or you stop talking to someone, I usually have, like, a template. Back in my dating days, my dating app days, I have a template of, like, goodbye message. Like, hey, it was really nice trying to get to know you, but I think I will be exploring options elsewhere. So I hope good luck to you <laughs> and how to send it to them. And usually they take it really well. Uh, so, yeah. For me, it was always, I would have a couple of matches, um, then I would port some over to Telegram, because Telegram, you don't have to review your number or anything, just your username, right? So I would port, I would port the person over to Telegram, that's how I knew I w was really like more interested in this person. And we would talk, uh, some of them didn't give off good vibes after that, so I would just say, yeah, this is not for me, uh, good luck. And But usually out of the many matches there would be like one or two that really stuck out and then it was just about deciding like hey do i am i ready to date someone long term yet and do i want to date this person but usually when i like really like someone i quite i feel like i have quite a clear idea about it or a clear mind about it and i'm very direct as well like i'll just tell them hey this seems like it could be more than just a friendship why don't we give it a go if you're down uh, and if they are down then we date um, so far it's worked pretty well. Uh, my previous two relationships, apart from my current one, were both from dating apps also. Uh, the first one ended because he cheated on me, sadly. That's not to speak of his overall character. He was going through his own time, but I'm not going to try and justify what he did. Um, so that ended. Then the second one, he went overseas to study, 
So uh, I found it really hard to keep up with the time difference. So we decided to end it as well. Also because the pandemic was like rampant then. So there was no like foreseeing when he would be able to come back. So that ended. And then I met my current one who I moved in with and I really see long term potential in. So that is my dating app story for the past couple years. Though nobody asked. <laughs> but <clears throat> I would say females in general have more options or have like the privilege of being able to sift out uh, who they want to talk to and who they don't want to talk to. From what I recall, there was an article about how um, there was somebody who, who, I can't remember if it was Tinder or Bumble or something, but there was like an, um, some statistics that proved that guys just got lo less matches than girls overall. For the most part. Okay. I still have my fries left to eat, so... I'm gonna nom my fries while we watch one more video and then I'll finish up my lunch by then. Let's go with um, why it took 200,000 years to invent the wheel. Question. Oh, why we are you so loud? RIP headphone users, including myself. The wheel. Don't tell me what to do. In this video, I figure out why it took humanity so long to invent the wheel and see if these two can do it in a day. Run me over. This is a big problem for me. It worked. But first, I want to thank IBM for sponsoring <laughs> I'm so this sorry. Now, when you I didn't think expect about the it to be that loud. Business and technology, you might think of faster computers <laughs> and stacks of code. But that alone isn't going to solve our big problems. You see, we need to combine those things with creativity. Now, I'm not talking about creativity in the traditional sense of artists and musicians. No, I'm talking about developers, data scientists, and visionaries who are creatively applying technology and business to drive change. IBM calls them new creators. But hmm. what does that actually mean? Well, take Alejandro Blas, the director of Plataforma Tierra at Cajamar, and the new creator. He is harnessing precise weather forecasts and AI to help Spanish farmers identify optimal irrigation and fertilization oh. levels. But what does that have to do with creativity? Well, creativity is just being imaginative. And for Alejandro Blas, it's imagining more from the norm and not taking things for granted. So hmm. he took an industry that is thousands of years old and asked, how can we improve it using the tools we have today? It is so easy to perceive this divide between science and technology technology versus artistry and creativity. But I think that the problems that we solve in the world and in business would be better off if we realize that creativity and technology work better together. If you want to see more examples of that, check out IBM's YouTube channel or click the link in the description to learn more about the new creators. Thank you to IBM mm. for sponsoring that portion of really the video. Now back to the wheel. Now, I always thought that we weren't supposed to reinvent it because it's so simple and we should spend our time on more complex things. But no, it turns out the wheel was pretty hard to make. Parts of humanity were already in the Bronze Age, casting metal alloys, building sailboats, tuning mm. their harps before <laughs> we had the wheel. Those things sound more complex. So why did the wheel wheel take so long. To figure it out, I wanted to rewind back to an age of ignorance and naivety, but that is really hard to do because time travel doesn't exist and wheels are everywhere. So I got the next hmm. best thing. What do you guys know about wheels? I'm just trying to eat my food, man. <laughs> Those are wheels. What do you know about them? We're making wheels! I'm <laughs> okay. <I'm> so... okay. <laughs> relax, relax. I should probably explain what's going on here. I wanted to see what would happen if I took two people <laughs> with minimal pre-existing knowledge and zero preparation and asked them to invent the wheel. This is just a risk you face if you're friends with me. They were only allowed to use tools that were available at around 3500 mm. BCE when the earliest records of the wheel first emerged. So basically these things. Immediate problem though. Just one wheel. We did it, cheers. Wheels. They don't know what the wheel is. Now, I don't know if this is common <laughs> knowledge or not, but when people say reinventing the wheel, they don't just mean this round thing. I thought that was obvious, but when people say reinventing the wheel, they actually mean the wheel and axle. You know, the thing that makes it possible to hmm. fix a platform to rolling cylinders. Let me play that again, because I'm really proud of it. <laughs> that is what I want Taha and Melissa to reinvent using only rope, wood, and some basic metal tools. Oh. Can they do that? 
Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so my current plan is to take this box and add wheels to it. However, the attaching part is probably going to be the hardest because, okay, I didn't want to say anything because Melissa was still in the room, but this is what I'm actually going to do. I'm outside. What? Because I don't want Taha to hear me. I'm going to pull a rope across the middle of this and that'll act as my axle and then I'll tie it off on either side. I know we gotta make a, a vehicle. I'm gonna make a rack <laughs> with wheels. Chariot. Oh uh, yeah, top. yeah, it's so good. Wheels. The constant test and challenges constant for test. video content. Okay, new plan. If I had one big wheel It's kind in of fun I think living this, this sort of. really unstable. So potentially I will need four wheels I will rather need. than two. Then we figure out a thing to attach these wheels together. I think it's time to go inside and decimate Taha. Oh, this is really easy. Hey, you're not supposed to use that, are you? I think you? it's important that it goes in the middle. But I don't have any tools to, to, to measure if it's in the middle. I've just noticed that on this multi-tool, there is a measuring device, which I can are use you supposed to, to measure the circumference well, and diameter. Well, let's, let's do it anyway. Ooh. Stuff I learned in maths. One. The maths. Two. Wait. Don't understand. One. Two. Three stuff I learned in maths. Oh, you know what? Now that I have this hole, I can measure it and make sure it's in the same spot. So that is basically what I want to do. I don't know why it took so long to discover wheels. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Oh, wrong. Now, most of what I learned about the wheel comes from this book, The Horse, The Wheel, and Language by David W. Anthony. Oh. And let me tell you, it was not straightforward. As simple as the wheel might seem, the difficulty was in the details. Before the wheel, difficult to carry objects were transported using things like waterways or sleds. Oh, sleds. In order to replace those options, the wheel needed to be more effective and easier to use. This is where things get tricky because creating an efficient, moving, load-bearing wheeled vehicle is deceptively difficult. It seems there were two approaches to the problem. Fix the axle to the wheel and let them spin together, or fix the axle to a platform and allow the wheel to spin freely. Early examples hmm. of the spinning axle and wheel come from the Alps. The ends of the axle wow, were the square Alps. and plugged into the wheels. Oh, but so the cool. middle of the axle was cylindrical, allowing it to revolve under the mm. wagon. This design was relatively easy to make, but it created a lot of drag which lowered its efficiency. And mm. that is probably why the fixed axle with free spinning wheel design was more common in history. This mm. design called for a lot of precision work. From a perfectly round axle to a wheel fit loose enough to turn, but snug enough not to wobble. Things Things like naves or hubs helped with the stability, but the technical accuracy needed to build it well was likely a major speed bump towards the invention of the wheel. Mm -hmm. So you need to know that when it comes to a well-designed wheel, precision is key. We're gonna wing it. But anyways. You said that you had a plan. I have a plan. It's is a general idea. <laughs> so you asked the toddler to draw a car. Wait a second. I just realized something. My current plan attaches these all together. If the wheel actually rolls, <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> will roll. Hmm. Oh, Killer. <laughs> You're nailing it. Good job, bud. I think I've done it. This is connected to this. What? So now, do it again. But a couple of problems I've ran into. <laughs> they can hear each other wheel. so clearly. He's got these Hey buddy, how's it going? It's going great. Got my wheel. It's going. You also have a very impressive hole. It, that's spinning. And it spins. I was thinking like I need another one here, but it doesn't fit. So <laughs> that's a future <laughs> issue. I think I've had a breakthrough. The strategy that you are currently using to trade. Why is he doing this? What is this? What? You've had a breakthrough. I was not confident, but I have discovered something. You discovered the wheel. I've already made a wheel. I've actually <laughs> made an the same engine room. as well. Oh. I invented the combustion engine. <laughs> I can't tell if she's doing well or doing badly. That was much easier than sawing it. I could have just snapped it. It's a pencil, not a block of wood. Yes. F yeah. I can't say that. It worked. Hmm. I need to add another wheel. I don't know how. Another wheel? You know what? What I have made is a horse-drawn carriage. Maybe I need four of them. I'm gonna make 
two more of these, and I'm gonna try it with this one and cut four. Sabrina. What's up? I have a question. Hear me out. In the olden days, mm -hmm. it would have had horses. If I create something that I can pull it along with, can I be the horse? This couldn't have gone better, but it also couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> it's like I've scripted this. This is insane. <laughs> okay, I swear I didn't script anything. It's just that, well, first you need Problem to know that the thing that made the wheel go from a haha -ha, neat invention to a this is one of the most important things in the world is the fact that people didn't need to power it. We could transfer mm. the work to animals. This also means that a major efficiency gain of the wheel was reliant on the domestication of oxen or horses, which could be another reason why it took so long. But anyway, this new possibility came with some challenges. Hmm. The equipment used to attach an animal team to the wagon increased the weight and drag of the design. One way to correct for that was to use a strong but slim axle. By reducing the surface what? contact with the wheel, the cart would experience less drag. What? However, if the axle was too slim, it could bow or snap. An alternative was to remove a pair of wheels and make a cart. They experienced less drag and were easier to maneuver. They just had a lower carrying capacity. So you see what I mean by this feels scripted, right? Like Melissa had slim but strong axles so she could make a wagon, <laughs> but Taha couldn't figure out how to keep his vehicle structurally solid with multiple axles, so he made a cart. I just think it's neat that this happened entirely unintentionally. But now let's see which one's better. I think I keep that water. Did Taha steal it? Now, we do this. The wheels on the tractor go round and round. Am I right? All right, I'm gonna need some string, I think. He has it. I'll have to feed my cats. Be right back. I think I was just robbed. Doing something. Now I just have to figure out how to connect them together. What I'm gonna do is tie them together with string. No! Look what happened. So then through the hole. I've made a snap. Perfect. I think I have finished my wheeled vehicle. I'm gonna go for a walk. I think I've gotten too bit of a weird space. I basically am done. I've got my little drawstring where the horse would go. I've got my little guy. Wait, I have one last thing to add. So, I made something. I have no idea how Taha is doing. I hope he's doing okay. I've made my guy. He's over here. His name's Terry. I went into this not very confident, and I don't think I had much of a plan at all. I'm quite proud of my little monstrosity. She did say that we were allowed to push it along, and I feel like, what is pulling along if not a genre of push. And by some stroke of luck, the pencils were the magical lifesaver that we didn't know we needed. That was actually so crazy. When I saw those pencils, I felt an actual light bulb go off in my head and I thought I was the smartest, smartest thing I've ever done. I like this, variable for different, different sized horses. Other than that, I had a vision and I set out to do it and then I got it done. Sometimes, that's all you need, some stuff, and some constraints, and some people to... This is a competition. Only one of you leaves this house alive. Make you make stuff against your will. So we'll see, but Taha and Terry are the, are the dream team, and I'll, I'll die for him. I will literally pass away. It's day two. Time to see who is better. Can you close your eyes? Okay. No. Please. Okay. Ready? Open your eyes. Yours is bad. Oh, you got a little smiley face. You made a little tractor wheelbarrow situation. Yeah, it's Terry. I think Melissa doesn't know what a tractor is. <laughs> Whoa, how did you get the holes to be so big? Did you just stab it. it with a pencil? Yes. No, I'm kidding. I... <laughs> did you use tools? Yeah. Okay. What was your thought process here? Well, in the olden days, they had horse and carriage, so this is the horse area. Are you guys ready to start with challenge oh, they one? They have challenges? Okay. Be ready. This is my tractor. That, <laughs> that can't be a the tractor. The competition is made of three challenges based on the societal significance of the wheel. Starting with, does it have wheels? We know it took so long to invent the wheel because of how hard it is to attach a rolling object to a platform while keeping everything stable and efficient. So whoever attaches their wheels better wins the round. Taha, you're going first. 
You and Terry. Hello. You just need to Terry. prove that he could travel with moving wheels. Uh, objection. The friction on the surface is not regulation. We. We. <laughs> a twactor. Horse drawn cat. Terry. Okay, let's see, Melissa. <laughs> I don't have anything to pull it with. I just have to push it. You ready? Ooh, so much. smooth. I have an idea. You could, you could hold on to the back of mine. You two do know this is a competition, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh Teamwork. My God, that's adorable. Yeah, but who wins? Is it Terry, the sweet little Terry boy? Or Terry boy. The dump tractor. Truck. See, tractor. <laughs> Melissa deserves it. Okay, Melissa got it. Let's okay. go. Okay. Boo. On to challenge rigged. two. Rigged, rigged, okay. it's rigged. I'm Write in the it. comments, rigged. Stop it, get away from me. All right, <laughs> challenge two. Does it transport? Wheels made shelter, water, and food portable oh. in a way that wasn't possible prior. This allowed shepherds to grow and disperse their pastures across the Eurasian steppe, likely spreading wheel technology in the process. So whoever oh. safely transports an egg to the finish line faster <laughs> Little wins ego. the round. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's a lot of tape. Hey, oh. what are you doing? Just making money. Double. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making money. <laughs> you guys ready to race? This is not going to go very well. Yo, Terry looks mad ready, bro. Yeah, he's revving his engine. In three, <laughs> two, one, go. Ah! Yeah. No! Oh, Terry actually. Let's go, Terry. Oh no, Melissa. I need a minute. You know, me and Terry always knew this was going to happen. We've been training for a really long time. Our regiment was extremely precise and uh, Stop. Yeah, just, uh, showed up on the day and you gave it all we could. me. I think we'll do even better next season. Um, we've got What's some good season? sponsors lined up and the, and the funding's there. I think Terry's got it. Run me over. Time for the final round. Oh, they're funny. Strength. The oh. carrying capacity of wheeled vehicles was a game changer. Beforehand, heavy loads could only be moved through waterways and by large coordinated groups. The wheel made it possible to carry such loads across land more efficiently. And since things are tied, whoever carries more weight wins oh. the game. So I just put these on? Yeah. And with that whole one orange? The loser. Correct. That's 102 pretty. 102 grams. What a strong boy. What? I don't know if you're going to be able to fit more than two on there. So we will use a different method. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Terry had a little bit of sag. I have the suspension. Terry's holding strong. Okay, I want to find more things to put on Terry. <laughs> we like a bunch of applesauce. <laughs> more things. Seems applesauce. Still advised. Terry's butt is about to touch the ground. Oh. The nah. moment Terry's tushy touches the ground. Terry's tushy. 1.8 kilograms. Can Terry do? Oh my god. Two kilograms. Two point zero six kilograms. That's actually super impressive for a, is for a tiny. Is touching the floor yet? I'm suspicious of this. What? I guess he's always touching the floor at the front. Shall I lift him up? Okay. So all the weight is on the wheels now. Oh my god! <laughs> Tried to sabotage my vehicle. I'm not confident in mine. I'm not confident in my system. All right. <laughs> on the scale. I hope these wheels don't fall off again. I believe. All right. One. We got 112. 112. Mm. 228. Go Terry. Oh, yeah. 340. This is the worst auction I've ever How attended. am I going to put more of them? 866. <laughs> I think you just put the whole bowl. No, Alrighty, let's go. Not again with the whole bowl. I will say at this point, Terry was sagging a little. This thing looks like it could just keep going. How dare you. True. Say that to Terry's face. <gasps> can carry Terry as well. I admit can carry Terry. Congratulations. Thank you. Carry thank you. Terry. Very soft hands, by the way. So that is why it took humanity so long to invent the that wheel. That was interesting. But also, how even with advanced knowledge on, and tools, let me grab my iPad. We we're going to do art. Pitfalls and even arrive at the same conclusions as people thousands of years ago, which just goes to show that the saying might be true. Maybe we shouldn't reinvent the wheel. But what we should do is comment, like, subscribe. But either way, have a lovely day. Many people are learning to invest in the stock market, but is that really the best place to put your... Hello, Romeo. Welcome in.
Kevin, we just finished uh, our lunch break, so I'm just here to chill with art now. Art, 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 art. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, art timer. Yes. Uh, I'm wondering if I should, whether we should have background music or not. Considering, considering. I actually don't mind not having any background music just because I feel like you guys can play your own music in the background that way, you know? Makes it a little easier as well. <coughs> just give me a moment, please. We'll figure it out. I will see. Da 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 Na 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 Da 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 Okay, let me turn on my iPad real quick yeah, yeah. Previous time that we streamed art, I was working on this piece, which was like um, my Christmas uh, Christmas card sort of thing. Let me just go to Let's View. I think I can have background music, but it'll be like. You guys can't hear it. So you guys can put your own music <laughs> on yours instead. Does that sound fine to you? Hmm. Okay. It's quiet our time. I can't seem to find my drawing glove. Where did it go? Oh, found it. Oh, my cats are. Hey, what are you doing? Are you eating something? Don't eat plastic. Okay, iPad. Oh, I'm floating. <laughs> Let me come back down. <laughs> iPad. There we go. Okay, so previous stream I was working on this, which is an illustration for Christmas time. Uh, it turned out pretty nice actually, but I think I want to redo the eyes a little bit. So this was how it looked like before, and this is what it looked like afterwards. So I still have stuff that I'm adding on and things like that, but I think it's going okay so far. Cute, thank you! So I think we're almost done with this piece actually. Uh, it's definitely a bit different from what I usually do, because I usually do like clean line art instead of this like painterly technique. So this one I did a very like rough sketch and then I just went around basically neatening up the whole thing so it's a bit more lineless but I think it's working it looks quite nice <laughs> even if I do say so myself uh, the textures I'm not sure if I should make it like really strong or not the lighting and stuff like that I also want to add some stuff in the trees so we shall do that today don't know if you guys want to listen to music while I'm working or whether this is fine. <laughs> I'm glad you like it though. Oh, it's raining here. Oh, that was, that scared me. Hey, Geek. I come in. Thank you for the posture check. Okay. Ah. This is going to be a very, like, quiet stream without any music. But if you guys are fine with that, I'm fine with it too. I'm quite comfortable with silence. 
Hi, Yehime. I'm doing good. Uh, resting my ankle still. It's just a little bit busted, but not as bad as like the past. Um, not as bad as earlier this week when I first sprained it. So now it's much better. <laughs> Thank you for the water redeem as well. I'll take a picture. I sprained my ankle um, on the last day of AFA, uh, like on the way home. I fell down some steps and sprained it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but now it's better already. I can still walk around. I just can't really rest on it for too long. Otherwise, it'll hurt. But other than that, I, I'm good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Got well soon. Thank you. What about you, Geek? How have you been? I saw that you found more shiny Pokemon. I don't know how you guys find all the shinies so easily. Or like, maybe you were hunting it or something. I haven't seen any shinies, but okay. To be fair, I haven't been playing Pokemon like intensely also. I've just been busy <laughs> with art and with stuff because I'm doing like lots of giveaways and my YCH commissions just opened again and stuff like that. So gotta prioritize the work. Though I miss playing a bit more Pokemon. I haven't even cleared the I haven't cleared the Pokemon League yet. I haven't got a single shiny either. No shiny guy. <laughs> but I see it all over Twitter. Like people are finding shinies a lot more easily with this game, which I'm happy about. Like I'm glad that you guys are getting like cool Pokemon. I just wish I could find some in, in my game. I think I can, but I just haven't went shiny hunting or anything like that. The shiny them ugly. <laughs> Which one? <coughs> I wanted to shiny hunt to gift it to you, but then <laughs> I'm ugly. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, Flitter. Oh goodness gracious, Flitter. Flitter's, uh, Flitter's evolution is, yeah, pretty, pretty unattractive. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon in, in the new generation is Tinkerton. Tinkerton. The, the, the ostrich version, I don't, I don't like it. See ya, Lady Gaga. Not really my aesthetic, though. I, I respect those ladies immensely, don't get me wrong. I love their aesthetic, but when you put it on an ostrich, it just... I'm not a fan of it being on an ostrich. <laughs> Thanks, Yumi, for the wishes. No problem. Hope you had a wonderful birthday celebration. I'm almost done with this illustration. I just need to add maybe some more bo bobbles to this tree. Is that what they're called? The little balls. Bobbles, right? Just a few little bobbles on a tree. I like Fira Giraffe. Oh, I haven't. It's Giraffe, Giraffe with a hoodie. Ah, I haven't um up upgraded mine. Uh, sorry, evolved mine. E upgraded. Yeah, I wanted to. I caught the giraffe, egg, but I haven't evolved it. I don't quite remember how to evolve it. Is there a special way or is it just is it just level? I can't remember. It's pretty cute, yeah. I like uh mouse ha mouse hold uh dash bun and uh Tinkaton this season. This generation, sorry. Tinkaton is like my favorite. She's such a menace. <laughs> I love it. Level it up while it knows Twin Beam. Oh. Interesting. I'm happy Tinkaton is a menace. But he, she's also like crazy in the gyms and stuff. Call it Gold Shiny. I want it for a Violet version. Which one? Was it the Toxel one? Okay, we have the little candy canes up already. She doesn't have a Corviknight. Uh, she she attacks Corviknights, right? Wait, there was the. I know that there was no. I think there was no shiny Tinkaton, 
but she has this uh, special version where instead of regular bones, it's like brown bones. It's just Corviknight bones or something like that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> she herself doesn't have a shiny version. But <laughs> if you find her with a copper hanger. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. <laughs> the bronze hammer. <laughs> it's so cute. I feel like it suits the aesthetic. It's very pretty. I've always wanted a shiny Lopani. I don't think Lopani is in the current game, right? Yeah, she's not. I find myself thinking I should have gotten Violet. There's a lot of robotic looking Pokemon. And you love robots. Ah. I like the Unga Bunga vibes. Scarlet has the better designs. I haven't really seen what's the like the exclusive designs in the version. But it does seem like I, I personally picked it because because of Koridon. <laughs> I prefer Koridon over Miraidon. He's just such a funny little dude. Like has a wheel on his chest but doesn't use it, you know? <laughs> He's a funny little dude and I love him. Imagine your cat becoming a robot. No more floofy loveness. Oh not a not a fan of not floofy. Mecha Pokemon doesn't fit the vibe to me. I feel like the overall vibe of Pokemon Scarlet Violet is still like kind of there's like caves and all that. There's not as many apart from Iono City. The rest of the cities aren't super high tech or anything. So it feels like the Mecha Pokemon belong to a different region, you know what I mean? Like a region where it's like the Jetsons or something. <laughs> like everything is everything is uh, really high tech. If you, they're they're cool by themselves, but they don't quite fit the environment. Cause we have all these regular looking cities and lots of grassy hills and stuff like that. And then Mecha Pokemon all of a sudden. Even Iono City is pretty like based on real cities. So it still doesn't look like anything super out of the ordinary. If you're talking like, um, do you remember that one game of Final Fantasy where they had like this anti-gravity soccer or something like that? I don't <laughs> like basically like, like like Rocket League. I don't remember if I I'm recalling it from the right series. Was it Final Fantasy? I I feel like it is, but they had this like anti-gravity field and you had to play soccer <laughs> in it. <laughs> it feels like those Pokemon would belong in the world like that. Got a friend to trade me them for robot Pokemon. <laughs> in return, I gotta get all the prehistoric ones for her. That's nice. Also, Geek, congratulations on finishing your Pokedex. Holy. Something I've never gotten. Like, <laughs> I've never committed myself to a Pokemon game enough to, to reach that. Thank you. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. I can respect the hustle. I don't know if I should bother changing the the eyes or not. <laughs> How was your AFA event? Hello, Bay Sensei. It was good. Um, we finally debuted we gave away lots of little tablets it was quite pog <coughs> sorry i'm a little distracted right now i'm just doing this work overall a really cool experience i would do it again but it was a logistical nightmare <laughs> never got to meet anime yeah we missed each other next time come on like friday or sunday because Saturday is the day where it's like insanely crowded. Even even my friends who were trying to get in uh, early, uh, they queued up at like 9 a.m. and then they only got it at 1 p.m. The tickets also sold out in the middle of the day. Super, super duper a lot of people. It was pretty crazy. Then the following days after, people every 
they're all talking about their AFA experience. Overall, I think AFA was a lot, it's a lot better managed than TwitchCon at least. <laughs> Nobody got severely injured or anything, so I think we're fine. It was just hella crowded. We didn't have a ball pit of death or anything like that. <laughs> Not jabbing any convention in particular. Hmm. But I think safety standards were pretty good. Uh, crowd control was... It was a big crowd, um, but that was to be expected. Overall, still managed pretty well, though. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Wonder what we're talking about. Okay, I think this is... This is how I like it, actually. I like how it looks right now. I, I will be doing some edits on the, I suppose, the tone of the picture. 145k visitors, but that was like over the three days, right? Not just Saturday. But I think Saturday definitely was a lot of people. <laughs> Try and balance out the eyes here. I might be going to Comic Con. We shall see. But I'm not sure what time I'll be able to make it because I might have something else on that day. I have to check again. Also, I'm kind of tired out from AFA. <laughs> like, it's really great that all the conventions are resuming and stuff, but it's been not really great on my wallet and not great on my battery <laughs> like my social battery man we have two weeks to recharge you can do it shakes <laughs> thank you for believing in me okay i'm gonna add like a little so I, what i like about procreate is there is this oh man talking about <sighs> talking about the different um tools that we have I use uh, Clip Studio Paint, or I used Clip Studio Paint quite a bit, and recently they announced introducing the AI art, some AI art thing into their, into their features when nobody asked for it, and we're just like, did y'all learn nothing from the Deviant Art thing, which just happened? It's insane. So far, it's been like the only art tool like even though they release like their subscription model and stuff like that i was still quite okay with it because they still give you the option to to do a one-time purchase and stuff like that but then with the ai art thing i was just like oh man if it wasn't clear enough i'm not an advocate for ai generated images but yeah it was just a disappointing like wouldn't you do your market research before you decide on something like that <sighs> so it's really been a trip. Cue the dead emote, because that's how I feel again. I'd be totally cheering from a con too, socially. Yeah, I mean, I had a great time, don't get me wrong. I love seeing all my friends and stuff like that. But socially, it takes a toll. It can take a toll on your energy level. <laughs> Definitely did for me, since I went all three days. Whew. I was so tired by the end of it. Okay, let's do... Uh, should we do like slightly... Something like that maybe? Just a hint of sparkle but not too much. Or should we just go all out? I think we can blend it a bit with the, with the background. Just a little. Oh, this looks so cute. I'm enjoying this. Okay, um, the Merry Christmas... I'm gonna rewrite the Merry Christmas one. There's supposed to be like a Merry Xmas sort of thing. I'm gonna write it in black first and then change it later. Merry Christmas to you. Geek and I like have no fate so far. Even during the, was it Cosfest? We didn't get to see each other. Ooh. 
will totally try to catch you in the next one though if i'm going for comic con Merry Xmas. My mom used to tell me, <laughs> I, I, can't, I come from a very Christian family, but I think, I can't remember if it was my mom or my dad. Someone told me that people started saying Xmas because they didn't want Christ in Christmas. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, dang. So for a long time, I didn't really say Xmas until I just realized, you know, people just wanted to... Uh, I can't remember the reasoning for it, but it was it was a reasonable one, and then I was just like, yeah, whatever. Xmas is like X Xmas, Christmas, whatever you want to call it. It's the same holiday that we're calling it anyway. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I come from quite a religious family. I think we are pretty. Big fans, you know, big fans. Tier 3 subs to Jesus. Nothing wrong with that. They're still lovely people. Mm. See if I can make it a bit smaller. Do -do -do. That works. I'll also make a gouache and blur of this. Make it glow. I'm not a that too. <laughs> Tier 3 sub for Jesus. Hell yeah. We stand. We have no choice but to stand. You've heard of all his good works. He's great. Okay. I'm gonna just add a little bit of shadow to this text because it looks a bit too a bit too flat. <laughs> now it looks okay. What do you think? Not sure if it's better without the sparkles. The sparkles definitely add a lot to it. Maybe I'll just add it as a light instead. I mean, it gives it a very it gives it a more complete effect. <laughs> I think I'm only tier one for Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please. <laughs> Tier <laughs> one, where are my tier three, tier three, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus stands. Should we go with this corner? Oh, I forgot to add this shadow in there. Okay, should move together now. Where should I put this Merry Xmas? You put it like right on just on my little piggies, my stinkers. <laughs> I think this was, this is fine. I do think the sh this one can be a bit more like overlay, then it wouldn't be so stark. Thoughts? What do you think? This is the postcard I have in mind for this year. It's cluttered because I tend to make very cluttered work. I want to make like a stamp, stamp sort of thing. I don't even have an account. Ah! You can sign up at haveyouheardofmysavior.com. How do I make like a neon? I want to make like a neon, you know, make it look like Purikura. <laughs> Doesn't matter as long as you're living your life honestly as a human being. I think, yeah, we should respect each other's beliefs. Hold on, let me just do like a little bunny thing here. I'm trying to make it look like a stamp. Me maples. Let's 
0.2022. And then I'll have a white layer of this and we will make that glow. Oops. Clipping mask, Gaussian blur. Oh, we gotta merge it down first. There we go. And you can see the little glow. It's a little bit hard to see though. You put it somewhere that's a bit more visible. Or maybe I'll just change the... I'll delete... <laughs> reduce the number of sparkles in this area. Hmm, you know what? Doesn't look as nice. Let's just do a white stamp instead. Yeah, that works. There we go. Now we have a little stamp. <laughs> Looks like I sent it from my post. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, thank you. Sorry, I, was, I wasn't paying attention to chat for a while. In Jojo, of course. <laughs> that Jesus was the first Jojo. Wait, really? Should we make that as your logo and paste it over? That's actually a cool idea. I might. I'll c oh, yeah, I wanted to make a logo. So that's what we'll be doing after this. I'm going to try and design a logo for myself. We shall see how it goes. <laughs> we have like a rough one that Min uh, made for me, but it was uh, a little bit rough because we were trying to rush it. And then we realized, you know what? It's it's okay. We can just not rush it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, let me, let me just... I just realized I forgot to say that it's art time. Art time. In fact, it was because of his body parts that the new... New Jojo universe has stands. Wait, really? I didn't know that. I don't know much about the Jojo lore, but I didn't know Jesus was a big part of it. Dang. Gotta watch Jojo. I'll call it my uh, religious studies. <laughs> religious studies um, from the lens of Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Written by Himetoki. In this essay, I will. <laughs> ah! Okay, hold on, let me just... Art now. Oh, wrong account. I think all really, they should treat it in this <laughs> Keep going, I want to hear about the essay. Oh no, it's not done. That That's how much I did today. I just wrote the title and the start. You know how, you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> like, uh, I gotta, j that's just the, the first line, you know. R wrote my name, uh, wrote the title. That's how much I did today. <laughs> Arabis, hello, hello. Dang it, let's see the final draft later then. Oh no! What if I never finish it? What am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, I think we're done with this piece actually. I'm quite happy with it. We're just gonna do... Look, it's not my best work, but... I feel like I never feel like anything is my best work anyway. So this is just... This is pretty good! You might see some little sneak peeks of future Himi designs that we are still revising for our Miyamin. But if we look at what I did in 2021, which was last year, I think we came a pretty long way. I didn't realize like how much improvement there was. But now that I'm looking at it, there's quite a lot of changes to what I did last year and what I did this year. A lot more detail, a lot more dynamic posing uh and just i was trying out a different style during christmas this time too like the different eye style didn't quite work out as nicely as i hoped it was but this one turned out really nice 
and I'm happy for it. I al- I guess also because I have a character to actually represent me rather than just drawing myself. <laughs> so, wow, it's come a long way actually. I'm happy with that. We're just gonna edit it on the computer later to make sure that the colors are good for printing and all that. <coughs> Next up, uh, what do I want to do? Oh yes, I wanted to do a logo. What is a good size for the logo? I think the screen size is not bad actually. Something like this. I have never done a. Oh! Hey! Oh my god! Hello! Hi! 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 Happy Yummy Yummy Show! Hi! Hi! Happy Yummy Yummy Show! Hi! Hi! Happy Yummy Yummy Show! Everything is possible! How is your full body painting, Faye Midway? Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, Lulu, uploaded, not a Java dev, and Snaggle Ma, as well as Faye herself. Welcome in, raiders! Hello, my name is Himitoki. I'm an artist and variety streamer from Tyler, Singapore! Get over here now! <coughs> Oops! Yeah, raiders! Okay, sorry for the lack of chatting today. This was actually when I was playing a game, so now I'm chatting a bit more. Uh, but yeah, here is my quick welcome. Dun, 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 dun. We are celebrating my second Twitch anniversary and also- Oh, I forgot to bring the, the other thing over on my this overlay. So do you see those little levels here? At the bottom? We are part of Twitch Quest Accepted. So I'm going to just bring this over here. Chang chang. So that you can see. So every sub is a, I think, 500 EXP or something like that. But you're a little bunny girl that almost looked like the inverse of you. So I was happy to see you live. <gasps> I would have loved to see it. Do you have it anywhere? Or maybe I can like stalk you later. <laughs> but yeah, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. I just finished this uh, Xmas card, which I am doing uh, for the quest here. Uh, I have quite a few things that I'm doing for the quest accepted stuff and please feel free to share your socials so that or anything you would like me to share with the chat while I'm doing my quick introductions. So Twitch Singapore is having a quest accepted event until the 12th of December which coincidentally is when my um, community incentives and like mini battle pass thing ends as well. So for every cheer bits uh, etc you can get exp for our stream and then that will qualify us for various different rewards we already passed level one so i'm gonna be getting a little twitch pin closer to january next year uh i don't really have anything i'm particularly aiming for this is kind of just like extra stuff on top of the things i'm already offering so we're here at 400 but at 450 i'm going to be doing a free to use cat assets that i'll be posting up oh of course yes yes send your link uh, yeah, so this is the the community goals and incentives for contributing to my PC upgrade goal because ever since I started VTubing, I realized that it takes quite a bit of CPU to do this. So <laughs> I'm looking to get an upgrade very soon. Oh, what's that? So I was preparing the the postcard for this festive snail mail. But I also have a YCH that's happening now. You can check out all the different YCH that I'm having on my Kofi. Uh, I also reopened the uh, dead emote one recently. So I also have a cat Polaroid giveaway if you want to participate. Lots of things happening at once. So I apologize for the long, long intro. Uh, but here it is, the lying down emote. If you're interested, they're only $7 uh, if you want to support a little artist. And here's my YCH if you're interested as well. Okay, let's check out the link that you sent, Faye. Image BB. Oh, this is so cute! Who is this? She looks lovely. I love her outfit. Oh, she's gorgeous! <laughs> this is cute and well planned, Himi. Oh, thank you! Though, uh, I would say there's a lot of planning involved, but I should really stagger my events instead of having everything at once because then my intro is always like two minutes long. But this is so lovely, Faye. Thank you so much for sharing. No one in particular, I struggle with cute designs, so I'm practicing. <coughs> you guys want like a secret preview? <laughs> okay, so my uh, VTuber Mama Min is actually redesigning me because she based... Uh, this was a bit of a rush job, my current VTuber, though I really love it. Uh, but we're doing a little like redesign sort of thing. At first, when she sent me the first redesign, I thought of you. You know why? She was going for like a half royal kind of jester-ish 
a aesthetic and it reminded me of you i was just like oh my god this reminds me of Faye because she's like the only other clown VTuber that I know of. So let me show you. Here's a little like preview. So hold on. We had a bunch of stuff happening for this. Secret preview, secret preview. Oh no, did I, did I remove it? Okay, so this was the first, uh, this was the first uh, rendition. So it has more Himi vibes with the drills and everything. We're still revising it though, so don't worry. This is just like, this is like the, <laughs> this is like the, uh, how does how do I call it? The see the, the behind the scenes, the bells, the twin tails. <laughs> yeah, then I revised it to look a bit more like my current character. Uh, and then we are in the middle of kind of redesigning her even more. So I don't, I'm not going to show you the one over here because that is going to be huge spoilies for my new design. But it looks something like this. With a longer dress, uh, with a train, these kind of shoes and socks. You got it like to the T actually. It's just that I have twin tails in my design. But yeah. So right now I'm going to be starting from scratch, like working on a new logo because I realize I don't have a logo, guys. I don't, I don't have one. Uh, so I'm going to design a logo for myself and hopefully it turns out looking okay. Uh, I've never done a logo design before, like those VTuber style logo designs. So it's going to be my first time. I started with Twin Tails and changed it because it was hard to draw. They can be quite hard to draw. Not only that, but they can be quite um, hard to rig as well. Whenever, whenever you comfy, I demand a rough street to draw. Oh my gosh, yes. We will definitely come up with a turntable and everything very soon. Uh, but yeah, the H needs to be bunny ears for sure. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. Okay, I'm going to look up like VTuber. VTuber. Um, oh, before that, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a sketch of your character because she's so cute. So let's do a quick sketch of the character that we have just witnessed. Phase OC. I'm gonna give it like a light beige background. And we'll do the sketch in brown. Check this, take this as a warm up, because I need a warm up also. <laughs> But thank you so much for the raid and for trusting me with your community. It's always a huge honor. And I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. What are you going to be up to? She looks like she could be my sister. Also, I'm sorry that there's no background music or anything playing. Please feel free to play your own background music instead. Uh, I am trying to chat more so having the silence um kind of forces me to make conversation with you guys instead drew her eyes and then i fell into a deep need to do better which is oh <laughs> why is cute hard cute is hard uh even i struggle with it i feel like my art generally leans more towards cute but to make it like proportionate and everything is difficult what Procreate brushes do you use? I use a Tylee, mix. Get over uh, here now. One of the most common ones I use. Hello, Nada Java Dev. Thank you so much for this for the uh, for the follow. I'm using the 6B pencil to sketch. Then I use Tinkerbox for a bit more of like texture. I also have a round brush, which is if I want like clean line art, like manga style line art. But usually I go for 6B pencil when I'm sketching. It just feels a bit more organic, I think. But I do want to learn, like, uh, Faye was just, no, not Faye, another one of my friends, Ray. Ray was <laughs> talking about, because I tweeted earlier this morning, like, I'm kind of stuck. Like, I don't know whether to pursue a clean, like, cute line art sort of style or whether I want to do, like, cute crayon kind of style, which is more textured like this. Because I see so many artists just pulling off the different styles like so well. And it makes me want to be able to do that too. But they usually have like a focus and I don't. <laughs> so I've been wondering if it's still like wise for me to, to continue just switching them as and when I want to. Or whether I should like focus on one for a period. 
both approaches have their have like uh, their benefits. I'm subconsciously making her look a bit like me. Oops. Oh, my procreate just crashed. Or hung. <laughs> That's been happening a bit more lately. Oh, oh, hey, Sora. Hello. Thank you for thank you for claiming the first. You don't need the sketch. Uh, okay, okay. It's okay. The sketches are only, I think, like um, if you've been first five times this month or something like that. Oh, it's because I restarted stream just now. The answer is there's no answer because everything is so fun. <laughs> That's the dilemma, right? Like, as long as I'm arting, I'm happy. And I'm not, like, rushed to meet deadlines or anything like that. That stresses me out. Because we forgot it came comes back alive with the stream reset. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I reset the stream because we were doing karaoke earlier today. And karaoke streams tend to be muted or blocked worldwide because of the copyright infringements that we are infringing. So, uh... <laughs> Instead, uh, I decided to restart stream just so that the VOD won't be muted for the art segment. What are we arting? We have done... Have we done it with the random doodles? There's still like a couple more. I haven't posted them because I've, I should have written the numbers for each sketch because now I don't know whose goes where and it's a little bit messy that we live and learn. Uh, I haven't posted the Twitter sketches. Now I am drawing Phase OC, this cute little bunny girl, because she <laughs> she reminds me of me, and I need a little warm up before I properly get into my own work as well. I love the f I love the like volume in her sleeves. She kind of looks like a <laughs> Anastasia. In it, uh, no, not Anas. Was it Anastasia? Um. Cinderella's stepsister? The one who like dated the baker? <laughs> I think I'm gonna change the mouth a little bit. I love that movie by the way, the one where her stepsisters find love. It was so wholesome. One of my favorites. Okay, so she has like he made layered hair. Okay, there's my sketch for Faye. I hope you like it. It's just a sketch of your bunny girl. <laughs> Thank you, Faye, for the raid. She's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna add like a bit of color to her. <laughs> Cause she extra. Hi Mr. Wolf Computer, welcome to the stream. I also use gloaming as uh my colors for when I'm doing more crayon style because it gives like this craft card kind of texture. The only thing is the opacity is you can't really stack them without it really going over and being really obvious. Making me more attached to the random bunny of me a few hours ago, please. <laughs> yes, bunny girl supremacy. Although clown girl supremacy too. You know, I had a clown OC a long time ago. I don't know if I can find her. But I can I can try to find her. I really loved her uh, design, but it's not really one that I can embody because I made her darker skinned. 
like much darker skinned <laughs> so i didn't want to embody that design because i feel like it also embodies a culture that i'm not very familiar with but this was a um an oci I created a long time ago when i was a bit more ignorant about stuff like that i still stand by the fact that i think her design is adorable though um but i don't actively like play as her or anything like that i might want to sell off some of my oc designs it's been uh, way too long and oh it seems like we have to log in am i not logged in why am i not logged in Give me a moment. Okay, you can see all of my work uh, on my on my uh, IG, and all the giveaways and stuff are also like posted there. This was a picture I took at the Akiva stage, like where we debuted our video team. It was such a fun experience. All right, let me go and look for, where is tags? Is it explore tags? Congrats on the con, it looks so heckin' fun. <laughs> it was very fun. Okay, let me search for, okay, there's a lot of interesting stuff on Instagram. Uh, I think I have an OC tag from way, way back. Okay, let me try to find her here. Um, these are all my original characters. <laughs> Some of them I don't even draw anymore, or like I've drawn once or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to find the clown girl that I had. Do I have her? Mm. Ah, here she is. I th oh, 2016, that was a long time ago, oh my gosh. I can't seem to click on it though, but you can kind of see her her design from here. Her belly button design was like uh, inspired by Steven Universe. Uh, I think I liked Steven Universe at the time, so I designed her kind of after Garnet. I don't know why I can't click on it though. But yeah, if you want to check it out, it's, on my, it's buried... <laughs> far far down the pants and frills i love feel free to take a <laughs> to take inspo <laughs> eight years ago can you believe it yeah that's a long time ago i started on instagram really really early on uh gained traction there really early on too uh then as i grew up and as my followers also grew up i think most of them kind of forgot about me there's a, l a bunch of them who still kind of remember me or who were like my closer ig friends at the time and we still hang out or we still chat but it's still like i wish i could find the people i used to see more often on my feed and and all instagram's algorithm really screwed us all over like i can't see my i i don't see my mutuals as much anymore and it makes me really sad Okay, we got like a little bit of shading going on. Woohoo! Just to add some dimension, otherwise she'll be very flat in the face. Okay, I'll be sending this to the. I'll be sending this to my art redeems channel in um, on Discord if you're there. Uh, so do look out for that. Okay. Feel about my deviant art childhood, right? It's so sad. Thank you again for rating and for sharing your cute little buddy girl. I love her. All right, now time to make my logo. This is gonna be first for me, but okay, let me refer to what Min had drawn me the other time. She drew me like a really cute one. Oh. Thank you, Aw, don't worry about it. Thank you for being so kind. Please feel free to, if you have to, have to head off or anything like that, like go ahead, okay? No pressure at all to stay. Sorry, I'm getting some emails. See you, Vay 
sensei. Lurking and snacking, have a good one. Thank you, thank you. I'll do my best to make a cute logo. Oh, I have to measure my cats, hold on. <laughs> I know that's random, but my mom wants to buy qu Christmas sweaters for my cats, so I gotta measure them. Yeah, my mom wants to buy little Christmas sweaters for my cats. Hi, <laughs> Hime. Chopping back down, say hi. I'm gonna be liking because I've guessed over it. <gasps> have a wonderful time. No worries. Hope you have a good rest as well, Papari. Have a good one. Thank you so much for dropping by all the time. I love seeing your work on Twitter and stuff. So I hope to catch you soon also. Have a good one. I said have a good one like three times. I'm sorry. I get nervous when I see people that I admire. Huh? <laughs> huh? All right, um, let me go here. So I need to find where is the old uh, logo that was made a long time ago. I don't think I saved it actually. Keep up the amazing work. Okay, I'm just looking for for the picture now. I think this will be quite far down, so bear with me. This was like prior to AFA too. So it will be a far scroll. Do -do -do. Okay, I think I found it. This one's quite cute actually. <laughs> Let me just ex uh, extract it from. Okay, I got it. Insert photo. So, this was the idea that Min had for my logo, which is quite cute, but not very legible. So, I'm gonna try and work with it. We'll do the carrot at the back first. I like the carrot. We're mostly going to be recreating it, just changing a bit here and there, like the crown and stuff. And perhaps we can do this as well. We can use the selection tool. Selection tool allows us to make like a nice block of color. There we go. And then we can just clean it up from here. I don't mind having a bit of like crayon element to it. Though maybe we should keep it, keep it clean. I'm just smoothing the lines here. Okay, I'm gonna erase some parts as well because the bottom looks a bit too thick. So we're gonna just carefully trim that carrot. <laughs> okay, so far it's looking pretty alright. Okay. Have to trim here a little bit too. Make it nice and clean. 
Okay, we got our carrots. I'm gonna make it slightly more pastel. That's not slightly, that's quite pastel. <laughs> I like that she used the crown as the as the carrot top. So we can try to add the crown up there. The crown looks great on its own already. Should we do like a okay, it's like a round crown. Get a bit more yellow and stretch it a bit. And a bit lighter yellow than the back it can be this like darker yellow. Okay. Copy paste, move this here. Can make this smaller. <laughs> I don't mind this so far. I think the carrot shape can be improved. It is a little bit odd right now. Ah, oh, see you, see you. Thank you, for, thank you for coming by, Arvis. Don't worry about it. Hey Manzami, hello hello. I'm doing a quick um logo design of sorts today. How have you been? How was the the fundraising? Or how is it going? I, I can't remember if it's already done. Oops. We exceeded our original target in 24 hours. That's awesome. That is so amazing. I'm really happy to hear that. Today's day one of my new job. <gasps> My boyfriend's also at a new job today. Hello from the office. Hey, hello. So far, how do you find the environment? I am trying to create a logo today and uh, I haven't done this in very long. I've also only ever used Illustrator, so this is new. Illustrator is um, ideal because of, because of the vector mode that you can use but I don't really mind this either it's just about 
getting a bit more used to it. And also positioning things so they don't look so awkward. Gotta learn it too? Oh, you have a huge table all for yourself. Nice. Love that. <coughs> so I'm trying to do something like that. What, uh, what is your new job about if it's not NDA <laughs> or if it's not, if it's something you're comfortable sharing? If you're not used to vectors, it's even harder to use. <laughs> I'm fine with vectors, uh, but I, I don't prefer it to just directly drawing. Though it has its, it has its, um, it has its benefits. There's a lot more that you can do with vectors. It's easier to scale up and everything. But am I used to it? Not as not as much as just drawing on a canvas, no. I'm in marketing. Ah, marketing isn't easy nowadays. Marketing has so many branches, from content creation to article writing, like everything. You guys do everything. Royal carrot, yeah. The little like royal carrot thing going on. My role involves working with content creators and streamers. Oh, that's awesome. So it's also along the lines of like what you like doing. I'm so happy that you got that for you. It's always nice working within like your area of interest. Not a lot of people can say that they have the luxury of doing that. Though it does sound like a very challenging job too. Working with working with lighting and gimbals. Ah. That sounds awesome. Nowadays the the kind of quality people expect from from uh like TikTok and stuff is also insane. I decided to take up the challenge, got offered this role just a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm sure you will you will ease into it. You've been in the field for a long time now. I'm just trying to balance this out. That graphic design is not not my forte <laughs> like at all. I'm still trying to find the balance in the colors. Okay, that's fine. It's like kind of pa Thank you for your vote of confidence. You're very welcome. I'm sure you will excel where you are. If not, you will you will learn a lot where you are. <laughs> if you don't excel, you learn. Okay, I kind of have the carrot thing going on already. And now to do the I'm going to do the ribbon. Yeah, she did a she used the symmetry tool. I don't know how to activate that. Is there a way? Uh symmetries clone? No. Symmetry. Is there a symmetry mode? Let me let me look it up actually. I've never used one. Symmetry tool procreate. Turn on the circle drawing guide and click on the tab to what? Circle drawing guide. Circle, canvas, drawing guide. Hmm. Click on the symmetry option. Where is the symmetry option? I don't see it. Canvas. Drawing guide. Click the tab to edit it. What tab? <laughs> uh, what tab? Hmm. I'm tapping on drawing guide, but nothing's happening. Page assist? No. I didn't know you could have pages on Procreate. What? 
action canvas tab a did drawing guide oh symmetry uh, uh. okay i did not know that that was a thing whoa i'm learning so many new things today i learned that procreate has a has a symmetry tool that's so cool. Whoa. My lines are not very stable. job you did it damn dude okay so this is the ribbon I kind of like the slightly shaky <laughs> the slightly shaky um, aesthetic okay we have the little ribbon now She is a very dark pink. Okay, I see the highlights and stuff and shadows where those are supposed to go. Roughly. I guess we can turn on assistance for here too. Is it also assisted here? So I can turn on. Oh! <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm just learning so many new tools that I didn't know about previously. Okay, I think we can go with, um, we'll do like, uh, soft brush. So, we get like the highlights in and stuff. Okay. Whoa! <gasps> Hello! Hi hi puppy yummy and Michelle. Hi hi puppy yummy and Michelle. Anything is Hi my Zona, how are you? My Zona, thank you so much for the raid. Wait, I'm trying to make this ribbon very pretty, but it's not really going as planned. But hello, hello, welcome to the stream. How was your how was your stream? What were you guys up to? Also, apologies, there is no background music in my stream. Feel free to play your own. It is a bit easier. Oh, I just realized that my desktop volume wasn't in there, so you didn't hear the raid, the raid song. I was just singing to myself. Oh, no. But anyway, hello, Senria259 and my Zona as well. Welcome, welcome. You are playing Overwatch too. How is it going? I know that there are some new skins that were, that were released. Yeah, I accidentally turned off my desktop audio. Sorry, Ovaltine. You were playing some Overwatch. That sounds so good. Were you winning? So for those of you who are wondering what I'm doing, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm doing right now. I am doing a little logo for myself. So this was the the logo that my VTuber mama initially did for me. But uh, because she's a little busy to work on it now, so I'm trying to work on it on her behalf <laughs> games are 50 50 either we steamroll or got our bucks kick what a mood that tends to happen with overwatch i'm not sure why i have the same i have the same like issue but yeah welcome in we're just doing like a quick logo just now we were finishing up my christmas uh postcard which i thought you saying it because you <laughs> it it was an accident but yeah, uh, I'm drawing, uh, I finished up my postcard here for the festive snail mail. So in my welcome message, there are perks that you can claim for supporting the stream. Singing acapella, oh my god. 
So let me show you. So over here, we have this little like Hime Battle Pass thing going on for until 12th of December, where uh, if you donate 24, you will get Festa Snail Meal, including the postcard. And there are other prizes and stuff that you can also claim here. You can always check it at Perks. There is also um, the total community goal one which next one is going to be some free to use cat assets i haven't done the two assets that i wanted to pull yet because it's been really busy with uh anime festival asia i was very busy with an event because i just debuted with a vtuber group called Vito, and they are lovely ladies you can check them out here Vito. yeah some of them are on hiatus from streaming or haven't started streaming yet because they are not ready but soon if you take um Keep a lookout for their spaces and they will most definitely be streaming soon. It was really fun. Thank you for asking. It was really, really fun. Also, again, apologies. There is no background music in my stream today. So if you want, you can play your own music. Like, I don't mind that. I personally, when I'm watching other people's streams, I like to have my own music on anyway. So I tend, I'm trying to like incorporate that experience into my own stream as well. I usually play music for myself, but I'm okay without. Okay, so I'm doing a very simplified version. So, uh, my VTuber mama did a very nice, like, um, detailed version, and mine is a bit more scuffed. <laughs> but I kind of don't mind, like, the imperfect sort of um, style also. Oh, the video thing just came out. <laughs> Whoops. I think it's just my style to have it a bit like less clean, not so professionally done. <coughs> so far we have this. All that's left is the is the text. So mine is very like hand drawn logo style. Oh, sorry, I have to take a big stretch. Ah, I've been sitting on my butt all day. I just figured out how to use the symmetry tool in Procreate, so that's been pretty <laughs> exciting. I don't know how exciting it is for all of you who are watching, but I was pretty excited about it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do like little buns. Or should I do like... Hmm. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Straightening my back. Should we do like the little... Classic carrot lines. Okay, then we will... Cook mask it. Hmm, looks pretty good. Let me make it bigger, actually. Hmm, doesn't look as nice when it's big. I talk to myself a lot while I am drawing. Please don't mind it. Uh, feel free to talk to me while I am, while I am doing my work as well. So next up, we have to do the himetoki um, wording. I think she did it really nicely. I like the bubble letters. It suits me. But I also don't know if like a different font will suit me as well. Hmm. Let me take a look at Princess YouTuber logo. Maybe we can get some ideas from there. Ooh, most of them have like fancy looking font. And a lot of um Oh. I'm trying to see how people usually do VTuber logo. Hmm. <coughs> there are lots of different styles. Okay. Let's try that again with mine. I think the pink is fine. It's gonna have to be quite um, stable with our 
Handwriting. I think I need to up the stabilization by maybe 8%. Eight, eight oh, that works better. Can do like a really thin 3 point. Hmm. I'm trying to do like a base and then we have like an outline. It's very hard to handwrite actually. I'm gonna have one base shape. This is gonna be my base shape. And we're going to duplicate it for every single part which has this shape. You know what, before we do that, let's fill it up also. Oh, my procreate hung. This has been happening a bit more recently. But it's okay, it just takes a little reload. Where did I put? Ah, here it is. Okay, let's... Is it not? <laughs> okay. So we put this as reference. Oh, that's a bit too much. Alright, perfect. Now to... I think I need to reshape it a little bit. So I'm gonna form my font with little building blocks that look like this. Oops. It's hanging again! Why is my procreate like this? Try again. It's been quite a persistent problem recently. What if I did like all caps? Looks quite silly. Okay, gonna have to reposition these. Put this a bit here. Be the H. Oops. H I N. Let's just flatten this, I guess. copy of this because I forgot to put one this way okay, so I have to move this here because we have no O <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have to clean it up later. Okay. Gotta clean up. Clean up some parts. Watching Arting is so chill. Aw. Hope that you have a good, like, productive session too. You've been very comfy as well. So thank you for the good company. Straighten this one. Oh wait, I have two K's in my name. No wonder it looks so weird. I was like, huh, this doesn't really look <laughs> like my name. Thankfully, they are still repeated letters, so I can just copy paste this and move it. <laughs> I was like, hmm, that was a little bit, that was a little bit of an oopsie. March down. I think the H can be like slightly skinnier. The M too. Make the O oh, like slightly smaller, just slightly. All right, we got Himi Toki, big big bold letters. The K has to be a bit taller, so I'm going to stretch that. <laughs> Just a bit. Okay, that looks not too bad. We want to do like a bubble style. So we might have to... Not clipping mask. Shrimps. <coughs> How are we gonna do a bubble stall? <laughs> it seems like it'll be easier to do if it was on... Clip Studio or something. You can select the whole thing then expand. Hmm. Okay, before that, let me cut out the O. I think I want to do like a pink polka dot pattern. So let me just find one real quick. Pink polka dot. Oh, uh, pink tone. No. Manga tone. Let me try to find. <coughs> That one looks pretty good. Let's see if it match. Hmm. What do you think of this? Mask this. Hmm. Doesn't seem to look very good. <laughs> Trying to figure out why. 
Maybe if it was the background of the text. Okay, let's let's do the white background first, huh? So we're gonna have to remove the background color, make it easier. I'm going to do the selection of the. It's not gonna be a very accurate like cutout, but I think it will look okay. My iPad still. <laughs> oh, I feel that. to remove some areas though it's quite shaky <laughs> I just got jump scared with volume shift from my comfy shoes. <laughs> Very loud Cheeto ad. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Volume a bit hard to universalize. Is there a way that I can just select this layer? It would be easier if I did that. Oh, there is! Oh my god. Is it feather? Ah. Uh, guys, I'm blur. 10%. Isn't that so. Why isn't there just expand selection instead of feather? I don't want to feather it. I want to have the whole selection, like a like a thick one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I want it more like stuck. Right. Yeah, they don't have like a just expand selection by how many pixels sort of thing. Annoying! Hmm. Okay, this is not too bad lah. I will just try to clean it up nicely. Oh, thank you for the follow, Plushmallow. That's such a comfy name. Hope you're having a good time in the stream. It's just silent co-working. Just you, me, and the work. Feel free to play your own music and stuff. A 
I saw your booth last weekend. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you had a good time at the con. Despite the crowds and all. Which day did you go? Saturday crowd was pretty crazy. Spooky push. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to I'm trying to make my VTuber logo. And <laughs> I don't know if it's going well or not. I'm not really a graphic design person. But I am trying my best. <laughs> so crowded. It wasn't bad on Friday, but oh yeah. Q on Saturday was crazy. Sunday was also okay. It's Saturday, which is like prime time. So I was very grateful that we got a Saturday slot. But also it was like, <gasps> all my friends who wanted to come and support me were like, Saturday is so crowded. And I'm like, I'm sorry. It's not my fault that everybody's free on Saturday. <laughs> Okay, so far this is what I have for my logo. I quite like how it looks thus far. It seems quite balanced as well. It's a bit more illustrative, but I do not mind that. I'm gonna do the outline for the carrot now. Oops. We're going to do it. To select. really hard to just whoosh like that Hi Rin! What does Hime Toki translate to? Okay, so Hime is princess in Japanese and Toki is bunny in Korean. So overall I'm Hime Toki. <laughs> it's a name I gave myself very long time ago. It's like thirteen when I came up with my username. And it kinda just stuck with me through the years. <laughs> What about Plushmallow? I'm so sorry, I'm like looking down at my iPad. Bunny Princess. I was curious about that too. <laughs> yeah, Bunny Princess. Gamba is a level up. Thank you. Okay, so this is what I have so far, but it's a bit like inconsistent, right? There's some have line out, some that have. Plushes make me feel mellow. Oh, <laughs> cute. I like that. It's a very comfy name. Welcome, welcome. So by the way, um, I'm participating in Quest Accepted, which is a Singapore Twitch community initiative. And we are currently at level 1. So if you, would, if anyone subs or stuff like that, you will up our level and we will qualify for cooler, cooler Twitch merch from the headquarters. <laughs> Back. Link. Link. Oh, link. Link. Which link? <laughs> but I also have like personal incentives that I'm offering people, uh, because we are celebrating my second Twitch anniversary. Yeah. Let me. I'm experimenting here. I don't mind this actually, it looks quite nice. <laughs> I feel like the text may have to change a bit. Oh, good, find me the command. Oh, my socials? I also have my socials panels downstairs. If you are uh, downstairs, <laughs> you might about me if you want to check it out. <laughs> Is that easier? Mm -hmm. 
was troubleshooting stuff at work. Oh. How's work going for you today? Hmm. Hello, Milo opening expert. Hey, yo. Thanks, people. Thanks, ah. <laughs> Yes, that is me, my little opening expert, Himetoki. <sighs> Why are my lines so shaky? Let's experiment a little bit. Hmm, white text. Watching my lead trying to explain to a new guy how everything works, so they just put him in a new position. He's too blur about it. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. That's normal, lah. Oh, since when you shower morning? Uh, only, only today because my head really was like kind of itchy and nasty. So I was like, yeah, it's time. It's time to take a shower. <laughs> Most of us will press hit, hit first into the project with no clue. Oh no, that's like the worst way to... <laughs> Someone got new people that you all have to take, a, take care of. I'm sorry to hear that that's happening. <laughs> Sounds quite hectic. I don't think white is working, so let's try yellow. Oh, yellow could work. That's pretty not bad, the effect. I'm just testing out different color combinations right now. Yeah, yellow could work. Yellow's not bad. How's work, people? Are you still at work? Project is ending. Bad news, project is ending. <laughs> oh dear. to change the lineup color maybe to like orange oh that could work it could work right my lineup is not very clean now but <laughs> but it's still legible I just gotta clean it up a bit Cleaner lineup would give it more professional look. It would be nice to have something like that, like double lineup. Then it will look more intentional. Not so. <laughs> not as. Okay, wait. Gonna switch this to the top layer. Whether this two move looks better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see you. And then my and then my procreate hang. Very good. <laughs> Hello, procreate. <laughs> ah. Yeah. 
don't know which looks better. There's a lot of experimentation that we can do. Well, there's not many major changes, issues we have to get up to speed ASAP and don't really have much to go off of since a lot of people who started the project has left. What? That's not good. Oh dear. I don't know how y'all are gonna cope, but good luck. <laughs> All I can say is good luck. Oh, okay. The gradient works. The gradient works. Let's do that. That is so pretty. I like it. I think I'll have to do line up for the entire thing because it just looks odd if it's just like the text. It's also not like super clean on it for anything, but I think that's okay. Scarf logo design, Lon Lai one is all handmade. Okay. <laughs> Which it shouldn't be. Logos are meant to be like. Not this. <laughs> I hope you guys managed to get up to speed though. Sounds like it's Tylee, get challenging. over here now. Thank you for the follow. So so are our bear. Welcome to the stream. You are watching me work on my very first logo. So <laughs> please be kind. Let me off the drawing guide. We are... I think this looks quite cute already, but... Trying to increase the lines moving. Yeah, but I don't know how to do that. It's okay, this is just just a draft. It's okay. We can continue to clean it up the... I think... Maybe... Oh no! You know what? Small enough cannot see lah, huh? <laughs> I know I've up the I've up the stabilization to eight percent, but it's not a lot. POV you're watching him work on her first logo. Yeah, that's right. First logo guys. I think I wanna do a lighter pink for this part. Oops. Oh no, I filled up the whole thing. Um uh, do yeah, like a bit nicer. It's okay. First logo. That means we are living and we are learning. The design is by minimal. I'm just recreating it to suit my aesthetic a bit more. A. Oh, it's a jelly. Okay. Gotta get going. Oh, okay, see you, everybody. See you, see you. It's not looking too bad. It's just a little scuff. Need to. Maybe universalize the thickness of the logo. Okay, that looks a bit better. <laughs> We're getting animated emotes for my girlfriend. I'm supposed to use Live 2D, but I'm struggling. Live 2D? That sounds pretty hard. I'm not sure how to use Live 2D yet. But something I want to learn down the line. So sweet of you though to help her with it. She's a lucky gal. Okay, going back to round brush. I think I'm going to Make a duplicate. How do I do that? Same thing. Duplicate. I'm going to just make this one like a lot more stable. <laughs> I 
can draw them well, but animating them is scary. I do a lot of art kind of stuff for stream. That's really sweet. What's your girlfriend at, if you don't mind me asking? Is she a VTuber as well? Not really. Uh, does not mind perfectly, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, it looks better with Lana. Take a bite of that carrot. Me. Suka streams games three or four times a week. Icona. Ah, seems nice. Twitch.tv. I shall go and follow. Please feel free to play your own music, by the way. I am just. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my god, I used to call myself Aiko before I changed my alias to IU because there were so many Aikos. Ah! So I decided to call myself IU. We just knew IG post, Lemao. <laughs> Yay, we happen to be Aiko, both of us. Or oh, I was ex Aiko, huh? Welcome back, Arabis. She's gorgeous, though. Very lucky. To have you as her loving boyfriend. Uh. <laughs> Aiko. Yeah, we're talking about um who's that? Uh Solar Bears. <laughs> oh just it's okay. No 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 she won't she doesn't have to change it. She suits the name more than I did. Okay, It looks okay actually. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Whose idea? Vito's? Huh? What Vito's IG post? I need to see. It wasn't mine lah, cause I didn't even know we had another IG post. Eh! Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me? Excuse me? Huh? Who? <laughs> ah no! People, what is this? I also don't know whose idea was that. Excuse me. Okay, y'all know I'm part of a I'm part of a VTuber group called Vido, right? I didn't even know they posted this. Excuse, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. No! <laughs> Who in the world made this? I think I think it was me. <laughs> what the heck? Hello? Hey, yo. You know what? Hey guys, if we had a... <laughs> it's not me! One of my... One of my group mates. I, I don't know who. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to ask who who made this? Hello <laughs> the new IG post <laughs> Stupid They posted it on Twitter also, what is this? Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know who posts on, but mm -hmm. sorry, I got distracted by the meme. We should have a video meme competition. 
imagine holding a meme competition you know that was a there was a listing quite a while ago i cannot remember exactly which company posted it but they basically they basically stated that like um <laughs> i want to see a dystopic news article <laughs> mean but they were basically looking for uh, a meme like creator for their brand it was very cute <laughs> look at all the experiments we've done uh oh I got the text in one right eh why got so many things in there oh uh, yeah I think I selected too many Not including this. This one shouldn't give me any brushes. Okay, yeah, this is the text. This is the ribbon. Ribbon. <laughs> then these three other carrots. Okay, this will make it a bit easier for me to here what news has go It looks like bread a little bit. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. Is pink a good background? I think I think we can have some different backgrounds for it. Like white. White also works. I think I like the pink background a bit more. Makes the text stand out. Hmm. another ribbon nah that's too much right hmm. yeah that's too much we could have other stuff though like in between the text and the carrot because I still feel like we could add some stuff it's just about what can we add We should add the highlights first. So most of the time they'll have highlights.
Shiny, shiny. I think the carrot we can add more dimension to it as well. So I'm going to do like a slightly darker orange. So there's a bit of shadow for where the words are. You can see a bit more. Oh, okay. It's coming together. Try to make it more metallic looking. Okay, I'll make this half light. Oh, I like it so far. <laughs> it's looking good. for the carrot Jewel should have a little like shadow underneath them. So let's try to add that now. Right. Hmm. That looks a bit more accurate. <laughs> hey, it's looking pretty good so far. You might want to add like a shine or something like one of one of these Shiny carrot. Hmm.
Okay. A little pastel sparkle here. You can call it sparkle. the text oops ah my procreate keeps hanging Okay, thank you so much for the well wishes. I'm just doing up my logo here. I'm not sure how well it's doing right now. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad to me. Very Kira Kira. Bot message. I feel like this part here, this space here, is a bit awkward, but I don't know what to put on it. Unless I like literally draw my face on it, which would be quite funny. <laughs> we can try. Just trying to fill up the space here, this awkward space. I usually don't draw like that. It's not so balanced. Kind of awkward to put my signature there, right? I 
that's a little bit awkward. So you can just put it here as like signature that I did it. signature and logo is a bit strange unless I move the text and everything up let me create a new file duplicate text sparkles, ribbon and cut okay, I just feel like there should be something else there but I don't know what in between the carrot hmm and the text much thunk I'm thinking the bunny ears coming out from here Like a window? This makes the most sense because then my carrot rocket ship it would just look like that. This is one option. Other options. Carrot bomb. <laughs> I could draw my my mascot in there too.
Makes it look like a cookie. Unless I do the bunny ears facing that way. Huh? Speaking of bombs. Ty Lee, get over here now! Oh. Uh, thank you for the water. And thank you for the follow, Levi Hedgy. Done. I think I got it. can draw my ears. Carrot bomb. Extra... <laughs> what? Oh my god, Big Chungus. That's a meme I haven't heard of in a while. Okay. Let me just draw the ears. I think that there's a bit better flow like that. Okay. your stream went well can someone do exclamation mark thanks also budgie hi yeah you came in with the raiders sheesh welcome back yeah yeah hello hello thank you so much for reading hello my name is himitoki i'm an artist and variety streamer from singapore uh and uh no it's fine i i appreciate every little raid it's it's just a huge honor that anyone would want me to take care of the community already so, thank you so much, Blair. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Oh, Slime Ranchers, how far are you in? I gotta eat your dinner. Oh, okay, okay. Have a good dinner. I am making my first ever VTuber logo. I think it's going kind of alright. I was afraid that it would look a bit strange, but after revising it many times, it looks okay. <laughs> So I'm quite happy with how it's turning out so far. I hope you guys enjoy the process as well. You may notice I don't really um I don't really play music in my stream anymore, so if you want you can play your own. It looks so cute. Ah, I'm glad you like it. I'm trying to put the ears in the toki uh area because that's the part which translates to bunny. Should I put it under the text? Ah, no, it doesn't look as nice underneath. It has to connect. But yeah, welcome, and I hope you guys enjoy your stay. If you have to go, go ahead. Uh, do consider following me though, so that you can catch me the next time I'm live as well. Uh, we are saving up for a new PC. So if you want to contribute to that goal, I have uh, incentives to offer you. <laughs> so really, really be in my. <laughs> I'm just gonna add some more stuff. But yeah, feel free to feel free to come and go as you wish. You are free to roam and have a wonderful time in the bunny kingdom. I feel like I should have some extra detail like this. I don't know if that would be too much. I'm trying to make it look like fur without it being too obvious. What do you think? I'm quite happy with it so far. It's quite cluttered, but I don't quite mind. Like, I think we can do without the sparkles, but I kind of want the sparkles also. <laughs> There's so much going on. <laughs> but I like it. 
I like it like that. So this option is not bad. Mm. And the last one is with the cleaner elements without shading might be good. It, it looks too colored. Hello, Carolus. Thanks for coming by. How are you? Yeah, I, I am like hand drawing all these things though. So I'm kind of, it's, it's, I'm very maximist when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. I do think the ears might be a bit much, but at the same time, without them, it's so empty. See? It's like a very empty little space there. So now I'm just trying to figure out like how to balance it. I might have to trade the ears and the, the ears and the crown places. Hmm. But thank you for the advice. I'm going for the more like hand drawn, maximist sort of feeling. Gonna have rule of thirds. I get what you mean. Oh, I tried just moving the text and the ribbon to the middle also, but it still looked very like bear <laughs> Tylee, okay. get over I'm just here gonna now. save this for now. from afar it looks a little funny this one actually doesn't look too bad on its own as well now that now that I look at it again it's quite all right anti-international social media enterprise logo <laughs> yeah we we push back we push back <laughs> we make printing a nightmare Going against Pantone! <laughs> this one is with the bunny ears. Let's see if it changes anything if I swap the crown and the bunny ears. Oh? Hmm. Hmm. Kind of funny looking for now because I don't have everything properly. Where did I put the... Ah, okay, there it is. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's move the crown. <laughs> ah, what are we doing? I think after a while, like, my brain gets tired also. You know what I mean? This could work too. Time to cut the carrot. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I don't do graphic design. <laughs> Alright, somehow we managed to fit it back together. Hmm. Remove the sparkle away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which one is that? Ah. Okay, this one. Remove it like here or something. Maybe here. Oh. <laughs> this is so extra. But quite funny also. We're just experimenting. There are many, many combinations we can do. <laughs> The inconsistency in the line art is bothering me a bit though. I think, did I separate the line art? Yeah, I did. So I can just draw it back very carefully. <laughs> oh dear. I 
Thank you for dropping by. Oh, I forgot to give Careless uh, a shout out. Check him out. Really cool artist. Way more experienced than I am, that's for sure. Dear me, this is very messy. But the idea is there. <laughs> the idea is there. You just got to refine it. Even then, all these like variations, I don't know which one I'll end up using. I might just end up using like the simplest one. Either way, at least I'll say I've tried the different variations. At least I can say I tried the different variations. Oh, I'm gonna make the canvas a bit bigger here. Ears, the ears are kind of long. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Do we got it? I don't even know where all the layers are anymore. We are very confused. Hmm, this is not bad too. It works. I might have to lighten the bunny ears. Puppy mask. Oh, okay, I see you, pastel bunny. That is the, the original line art. This is not bad, actually. Dog was doing something, people popcorn. <laughs> we are. I am experimenting with the different um, things we can do. I think it looks better without them. Maybe the crown can be removed too? This is not bad as well. Oh man, what a dilemma. Cozy stream blankies. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I am struggling. What if we had it over here? Behind the carrot. I don't know if it'll be too much, but guess we just have to see yeah that's a bit odd <laughs> unless we just put it back where it was but combine it with the ears maybe it just looks okay that way where are the ears? maybe? Then it'll just look like my character. Well, that's not too bad. That's kind of the idea, isn't it? Oop. Where'd the line go? We out here. Trying to find a good, um, balance. This actually looks okay. I like this one. I just have to clean it out because it's so messy now. <laughs> I'm just going to erase this. I'm not going to bother with the line art for here. Um, oh wait, I think I accidentally... This is what happens when I don't do clean work. <laughs> Sam Smith is whispering in my ear. She don't know how to keep her business clean. Mommy don't know daddy's getting hot. 
at the body shop to win something on holy coloring outside the lines not naming layers she is uh, committing lots of art felonies whoa, whoa, whoa she left the kids at home while she is practicing bad graphic design but you know what? It kind of looks cute, so it's fine. <laughs> Mommy don't know that it's very hot at the body shop. Oh, no problem. I use Krita, but I have to switch. I can't find any good tutorials for Krita, and I have so many questions. Uh, I'd say I've never experienced Krita also, so unfortunately, I can't help you there. But if anyone in chat has used Krita or is familiar with it, Maybe you can help a help a homie out. All right. Hey, this looks not bad actually. I'm quite happy with it. I'll just move the sparkles elsewhere. It's still a bit bold, like bold. Like I feel like I should have hair here or something. <laughs> the carrot. I'm becoming the carrot. I am the carrot. Suddenly, I'm the carrot. This design has taken many twists and turns. You don't see many people use it. I've been thinking of switching over to a different um, software as well. I usually use Clip Studio Paint, but after they announced like their AI integration thing, I'm a bit, mm, why are you doing that? <laughs> okay, we've got slightly better okay, clean it up clean it up oh wow it it flushed well actually sfa recalls he may carrot for undeclared pesticides excuse me <laughs> pesticides i don't use pesticides It's so bald. Yeah, I think Wonka Steer. Oh, um, it was recently announced, like really recently. Like they said, they were, they were going to implement this like uh, stable diffusion thing into Clip Studio, and people were like, "Did you not learn from Deviant Art on this?" There are far and few people advocating for the use of it. Why you do this? Was the was the main consensus. Hate that, right? Like, and okay, I'm fine if they wanted to apply like their own ethical. Um, I think it's fine if they wanted to implement their own ethical system and you know start from scratch or whatever. But they were they're implementing stable diffusions library of. Um, database sorry so stable diffusion database is not ethical to use because they take from so many sources that they cannot delete from the database anymore so it's kind of questionable to use it even though it does like Kara says it does have some application for paintovers and as reference etc but at the end of the day, people who are behind the software are not looking to empower artists using it, which is why I'm a bit more wary of that since there are so many resources out there to use as reference already without having to generate new images using AI. Because the more prompts that you put in, uh, the more the AI learns. So even just using it, even though you are not intending to infringe on copyright or anything like that or they might really just be using um commer like not royalty free images it's still training the ai in some way so i stay away from it completely personally but i don't judge i don't want to judge anyone who decides to use it like if artists can uh use it to elevate their craft i think that's good but i personally choose not to also, why is this part so bald? I still don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it still looks a bit 
imbalanced in some way and I'm not sure how to fix it. Yeah, I just ignore it completely for the most part too. Okay, I think I'll take away the shading first and uh, the background. Let's move the text and the ribbon up uh, and just see how that... Is that better? Carrot! <laughs> Big Chungus, oh no. Okay, let's just move this whole thing up. Hmm. Maybe the carrot itself just has to be a bit shorter or something? Just trying to make the space feel less awkward. Maybe the ribbon. Unless we put another ribbon on top, it c it could work. <laughs> At least we can have some space to. Oh, this would be a bit more balanced, right? I'm just visually trying to <laughs> bunnies love the carrots, so I get it. <laughs> I'm glad that you get it. Mm. Okay, this is quite nice. Oh, my my text was not properly outlined. Oops. <laughs> I think the bow should be half blue. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Now that you mention it, yeah, because half of my hair is blue too? Maybe something blue somewhere? That's a good idea. Okay, how I can experiment with that is I'm going to... Ara, ara. Sayonara. Oh, thank you so much for lurking. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this and flatten it. Uh, and we are going to erase half of the ribbon. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh, that's the wrong side. That means I'm on the wrong layer. Okay. <laughs> like this? Oh, wow. Actually, you're right. It does give it a lot. Of, it's like a different dimension. I like it. Thank you for the suggestion. Immediately looks better. Definitely. Yeah, it definitely suits my brand. Like, uh, it shows the brand a bit better also. Okay, I need to erase it properly <laughs> because there are some parts that are just... <laughs> Alright, so this part... We gotta erase it properly. It looks good. Thank you for the suggestion. Looks more like Himitoki now? <laughs> also, I realize I can probably crop this a bit more again because I'm not using that much. Wow, look at how far it's come. So at first it looked like this, which is also fine on its own, but it feels like it's lacking something. Oh, like the bow. Oh, right. I have a bow. I forgot about that. <laughs> then it became this, which was pretty cluttered. And now it's evolving. I like this so far. Maybe for the little tie in the middle, have the heart. Oh, but that's... that's. I think the ribbons were supposed to uh, represent my hair. That's why we made it like half blue, half pink. Though I agree the bow could be incorporated somewhere. I just don't want to end up adding too many things. Though it, there's already a lot. <laughs> What can make it look a bit more, like, I, I feel that the design so far has a bald spot here. I don't know what to do with this space. Unless I just shade it, maybe. 
bit of bald space is good. Let it breathe. This represents my giant forehead, right? <laughs> my giant forehead. Alternatively, I could also try to make the the bitten part of the carrot a bit more. Okay, let me just try it out. Giant <laughs> solar flower. So what if I made it a bit more bitten in? Then there will be less space. It also looks a bit like concave. But we can make it like slightly bigger still. Because it did look a bit odd at first. Wait, where is that line art? Oh my god, I have so many layers. Okay, bear with me, okay? I'm I'm navigating many layers at the moment. <laughs> This bitten part represents my booba. What? I mean, I have two boobs and this is two bites. No? Layer goblin. Let's go, Himi Quest time. Let's go. What do you think? Is this better? Hmm. It definitely reduces the space. But now it looks a bit too concave. And I'm not sure how to fix that. <laughs> maybe maybe if we make it like just a bit jutting out here or, or make it like three bites instead of two that'll look more like teeth and less like boobs graphic design is so painful why do people do this for a living I don't understand you are so essential. Hmm. It's a little bit uneven. I just gotta. She gotta straighten her teeth here indirectly. Massive forehead. <laughs> Please. Okay, yeah, I, I'm i liking, I'm digging this, this three boob bite. Three boobs, huh? Also, hello chow, hello mask. Sorry, I am so immersed in this right now. It is five o'clock. I have spent about four hours just doing this. Triple boob nodders. <laughs> oh dear. Can confirm the three bites. Represent three boobs. Wait, that's five? <laughs> what do you mean five? Huh? I just spent the last few hours putting up a new project for sale. <gasps> oh, how is it? Oh, damn, it's five. What? What's five? What are you guys talking about? Also, congrats on your new stuff in your shop. By the way, guys, new stuff in my shop too. My YCH for the lying down emote is open up once again. There's only seven slots left, so if you would like to get a cheap lying down emote, which is like a... Which is a, uh, this. It is a very, um, versatile emote for when you feel that the world is burning. Or if you are struggling artist like me. You know, you feel like I don't want to do this anymore, then that that you can use that emote for that purpose. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to spam it. Your seven dollar emote. Cheap cheap. Sasuka. <laughs> oh it's five PM. Oh, I thought you meant the bites. I'm like, that's not five. That's one, two, three. You guys don't know how to count. Never watched Sesame Street. 
<laughs> I like Sesame Street. Okay, I think we can do one more line up there. Mm. Mm. Now, we talking about the time. <laughs> we can count the potato. Uh oh. Okay, so I had previously done like the shadow. I'm gonna reapply it and see if it changes anything. Look at this manual drop shadow. What a loser. Doing manual drop shadow. Who even uses drop shadow anymore? That's so that's so early two thousands. Where's your light source, Hime? It's all over the place. <laughs> it's it's all over the place, friends. Let let me let me show you. Okay, on for the crown, it's it's coming down from here. For the text, it's coming down from here. For the ribbon, it's like straight on. It's all over the place because I am a shining light everywhere. So, got to represent that. And then for the carrot, it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my light source. <laughs> Just say it's ambient lighting, then call them a dum dum bubblegum. Ah, <coughs> tips and tricks. I'm learning from the master today. Yeah, guys, it's ambient lighting. Duh. Duh. Who wouldn't have known that? Duh. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. <laughs> You wanna get it? <laughs> no, it's cracking me up. Duh! You're not fooling me? I'm not trying to fool you. So, who's the fool? You think I'm trying to fool you? What? What are you on about? Guess like gatekeep curl boss. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> ah. Very unprofessional logo. Can you believe I studied graphic design as a major? I didn't do like amazingly well. The light source was gaslighting all along, truing. I studied graphic design, I just hated it. Clearly it's your fresh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, to be fair, this is not too bad, alright? It's it's a legible it's legible. The silhouette may not be, but <laughs> it's legible. Okay, for you Chow, I will make sure all of the highlights, the white highlights, are coming from the same place. Okay, so we have all this. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where is the. Did I get the color wrong? Yeah, they all come. All the. All these will come from the same place. Is this a new logo? This is... <laughs> yes. Because I have not done... I don't have a logo. Yet. <laughs> this is my first logo! I am defying all the laws of graphic design. You gotta know the rules before you break them. And I clearly know the rules so I can break them. Duh! <laughs> I always thought you had one. I I wish I did. 
I look like I might have one, but your girl does not. <laughs> he made Doki logo. Yay! Yay! Petite poggers. That's a bald looking. This is a foresight. I'm gonna go bald. Oh, we out here with the gosh and blur. Oh my god. Oh my god. You see that soft, soft one? That soft light. Gosh, gosh, I'm blur. <laughs> Wow, look at that shadow and highlight in the same place. It's called the the bouncing light, obviously. <laughs> What's it called again? The one where it's like you, you have the ball, right? Then then the light here, then the shadow, then got like one light here. What is it? Yeah? It's ambient. Okay, can. It's ambient. <laughs> <laughs> it's ambient. You need a hair flip you want. Oh my god. Trying to flip this hair. Oh, bounce like Yes. Bounce like thing. <laughs> bounce light. That's right. Look, on a good day, I would know all these things. On a day like this, where I ate leftovers, probably... My brain is a bit not working. Since a gosh cannon is a real gun, gosh and blur is the after effect you see after getting hit by a sit weapon. Is that really where it I eat leftovers, therefore I forget how graphic design works. Exactly, you know? You gotta eat you gotta eat brain food to keep your brain young. Have you not heard that before? Are you guys eating enough omega tree? Cause I'm not. <laughs> And I really should, but that's just not the reality at the moment. That's just not it right now, guys. This actually looks really pretty. I'm done. Gaussian blur comes from Gaussian distribution by Carl, Carl Goss. Imagine being named Carl Gosh. Oh, gosh. Sauce, I'm a nerd. He's a trustworthy nerd, though. Actually, too much carrots are bad for rabbits. That's why I eat, you know, a ver variety. Too much water is bad for humans. That's true. 100% of humans who drink water also die. So, clearly a correlation between drinking water and, like, passing away. Gotta admit, facts don't lie. <laughs> Did he invent the real gun too? Yeah. True. Okay, for this, right, I am going to export it and bring it into Clip Studio Paint to do the border because the last time I tried to do an even border, it did not work out. Gosh, invented. I feel like my brain cells are dying. Get used to it if you intend to watch me more. <laughs> That's so sad to say. Okay, got the soft, soft effect now. The very baby, eh? Why my intro video, everything so baby? It's not so baby. <sighs> Am I a baby? Am I actually a baby? Okay, wait, uh, just give me a moment. I'm going to send this to Discord and hope that the colors stay the same. Railgun pulse use a single large magnetic field. Ghost guns use several smaller ones. Ah. No guns, no problem. Huh? <laughs> People that are alive are living. Matter of factly. True. You know what word I hate the most? I don't know if you guys have a word that you hate. But I don't like the word irregardless. The word irregardless is so annoying. <laughs> you can just say regardless. <laughs> I'm not good, I'm sorry. 
And I also don't know what is going on in the chat about this ghost gun thing. So I'm not going to contribute to it. But I'm glad that you guys are having a productive conversation. He may is baby. Am I? <laughs> Is it real new? Am I pronouncing a name right? I remember I, I struggled to pronounce your name the last time. Is it real name? Oh my god! My iPad is at 10%. What the heck? That nonsense logo took up 90% of my battery. Actually, no. 75. Uh, no. What is 72 minus 10? 62%. Because I started off with 62%. Nevertheless, it's so extra for what? The word is in one. <laughs> yeah, irritating words. So many irritating words. Another word that I find irritating is the word whatsoever. And I only discovered that I don't really like that word when somebody in a certain game show kept saying the name what, kept saying the word whatsoever. Then I'm like, why do you say the word whatsoever so much? What is in so far? <laughs> Favorite annoying phrase is sad. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Saying long words a lot. Tell that to the academics. They need to use more accessible language sometimes. What's the point of being smart if you can't pass on your knowledge? What is wrong with academics? <laughs> if you can communicate your ideas well using simple language, I respect it. If you cannot, and you talk around in circles and children don't understand what you're saying. Never mind. I don't want to talk to you. You'll make my brain pain only. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming for everyone today. Nobody is safe. Why am I floating? Whoop. Pedagogy gatekeeper. Excuse me, what? Oh my gosh, that's the that's the phobia of long words, right? Oh. Whoever came up with the name for it, right? Them settle. Okay, we're gonna increase the expanded area by ten by ten by ten until we're happy with it. Okay, I think this is fine. I think a bit lighter. I think a bit lighter. <laughs> Baby, Himi. Can I share that I did today? Yeah, sure. Logo with BG. Where is where is Himi in the world? I am in Singapore. Imagine the person who wants to say they have this phobia. They will just say I have a phobia of long words. <laughs> okay, let's see how good slash badly this holds up. Alright, not too bad. Dark mode seems fine. There is not much contrast in this logo. I could have made the brown line art a bit darker. Because I cannot see it, but as long as you can see the words Himetoki, who cares? Who cares? All you have to know is Himetoki. Obviously, the best VTuber in the world. <laughs> I'm just testing it. Hey, if I have a shirt with this, uh, the printing will be hard to see. Four ads back to back. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just testing the green. Oh. It kind of looks kind of. Kind of looks Christmas. Not bad leh. There's not enough contrast. I can agree on that. But is the text legible? Yes. Is it messy? Yes. Does that matter? Maybe. Do I care? A little bit. Maybe I can... <gasps> I can! Oh my gosh, wait, I can neaten this. Oh, oh, Pog? I can neaten this. I can fix him! I can fix him! I can fix him! Can 
Can I? I feel like it's not really doing anything. Go to all layers. Ah, oh, okay. Then maybe I can expand the... Oh, okay. I know why I got problem. Because I need to s expand the... Invert first. Then expand. Ah! Eh? Is it can fix? Can this be fixed? I don't know if I fixed it or if I made it worse. Yeah? You help me see, okay? <laughs> it's just as janky. It's just... It's just as janky. It is simply expanded. <laughs> Wait, I think I did it wrongly. Let's try again. Let's try again, guys. Refer to e editing layer. This one. Okay, that's all the text. Right? Ty Lee, get over here now! I'll select invert. Oh, I can't select without the. Hmm. I can't select with the okay now my Tickle nicer or not, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how far back I went, but E, why is it like that? So ugly. Ah yeah yeah. Yes, Minky. Hungry, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I made it a little more. Oh, why are you drawing my table? Go, go. Go, go. Yes, dear. Wait, wait. Mommy working. I am using a mouse to try and correct my line up now. Very, very good to use. You should try it too. Mouse drawing doesn't hurt at all. Stop it, girl. Why are you just chewing on random things? Asia is very big. True? True? <laughs> yes, Minky. Sorry, my cat is like on my table now. I don't know what she's doing. But she's distracting me. She's just shocked. Hey, girl. 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 Hey, <laughs> she just meowed into the mic. That was Minky. I don't know what's the conversation happening in chat now. I'm just trying to make this border look less scarf. <laughs> it's like hardly changing anything, but it's better than not trying. Why you draw on my table again? Good girl. Can I clean up your logo for free? Huh? You wanna clean up my logo? But you you can, I won't stop you. But I'll feel a bit bad. <laughs> I'm trying to like hey, why the why this one got border of why got border on the border ah? I also don't know. <laughs> I pain to put <laughs> Okay, wait. Let me let me upload it too. Hold on. Let me save it. Logo with background, and then 
remove the background for logo with no background I'll, I'll send it to my official art channel in my discord Oh, yeah, yeah. Logo. I will name it logo draft so that it seems like it's not complete, even though this is all I intend to do with it. <laughs> ah, I cannot lah. Okay, time to send. Oh, I very long never. I very long never send stuff here already. Okay, logo draft. And logo with background. You can get it from my Discord server if you want to do anything with it. Is the color a bit... Mm, not enough contrast. Not enough contrast. Okay, let's try another color. What if I used a darker pink? I'm sorry, a lot of this is very experimental. That is not pink. Oh, ouch. That, wow. That's very bright. Okay, this looks fine. Maybe I can have some blue coming from the sky. <laughs> like this. Wait, uh, I tried gradient it, okay. No, gradient it. Eh? Eh? Eh, like cute, eh? <coughs> Ma, what, Kaka? Why you keep jumping on my table? Oh, that looks like it could be a sticker. Maybe? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Stop it, girl. Acrylic keychain. Yeah, yeah, I got the aesthetic. Hey, why the pink like so little? <laughs> oh, foreground to background. Right, right. That looks much better. Minky, you are blocking me. I don't know what my logo looks like right now. Go, go. <laughs> go away. More pink in the face. Yeah, I'm trying, but my cat is blocking us. Uh, so a bit hard for me to... Hello, girl. I'm trying to aim here. Yes, darling. Ow! You don't push the mic to my face, leh. So rude. Irritating. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Yeah, cat moment. She is snuggling to my microphone, the mic arm now, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Logo with background. Cool in all caps because this looks oh go go careful she almost tripped and fall why you very blur leh hello my iPad is not your bed why are you lying down on it this looks this looks better than I expected <laughs> the background really changed it change changed it changed it okay you know what's bothering me now the fact that this part here does not have any shading. That is annoying me a little bit. A little bit. So I'm just gonna. Mm, mm, is she gonna add a. Add a shades? Ah, yeah. Cannot be the whole thing shaded, then this part never shade, right? The girl, go away, go away, the girl. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Stop snuggling. Ah, this one, very subtle one. But look at the difference. Oh my tens. That is more beautiful by 10%. Oh ambient shadows incoming easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the background color here. It looks good. Okay, time to resave the logo with background cool all caps because now got the Shading. <laughs> I better save this file before I forget how I did this. Save as logo. I think they are hungry. I need to go and feed my cats. Minky, the only reason why you are so affectionate now because you want food, right? Wait, so is all of chat from Singapore? No, actually, I think a lot of them are not from Singapore. But my main audience is in Singapore though. 
You haven't fed them in minutes, they're starving. I know, right? I gotta keep them big and fattened for the feast. What? What? Hmm? I wish I was in Singapore. I wish you were in Singapore too. If you ever come in, I will... I would love to show you around if I am able. Cattle is in danger. Oh, not yet. Don't worry. I'm saving them for a special day. <laughs> okay, be right back. Uh, let me go and feed them first. my drinks. Okay, I am back. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Wait, what? Was my model moving? I just got here. I'm concerned. Oh, Azzy, hello. You were having a seizure. Oh, no. Did y'all call 911? Wait, in Singapore, it's 995, right? <laughs> hey, Draco. Welcome, welcome. You relate to the cats. Just being sleepy. Your model was having a fit. Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> it do be like that. <laughs> Hospital's expensive. It's okay. I got insurance. <gasps> oh damn, she a fancy girl. Your model should sleep when it's not tracking anymore. That would be cute. Well, I'm gonna get a model upgrade soon, so you're not gonna be seeing this model for that long anymore. So sad. Uh yeah, Min is Min is going to redesign me. So she's gonna try and make me look even more hime. Uh Init okay, so Min and I, we are quite alright, but we have very different ideas of princess. So for me, I'm like Barbie princess, you know? And then Min was thinking of Hime Dore kind of princess, like thinking Beatrice from, uh, what's that called? Black Butler? Or that girl from Overlord, the vampire princess girl. Yeah, so more of like the bratty sort. So we have very different ideas of princess and the aesthetics that come with it. So you'll be, I think, quite intrigued by the new design. We had a few different revisions already. Uh, actually, earlier in the previous stream, I got I have uh, shown a preview of like what was initially the proposed design. But then uh, we have been revising it still. Smash the aesthetics together. That's why they were trying to come to an in-between of that. Do you like Lolita-style princess? I do. That's why. That's what I did with Menhera and Angelic. What is Menhera? Oh, but yeah. So we're going to be having like a, a design upgrade soon. But that's not going to be super soon. Uh, maybe somewhere in the next... Like in 2023 because honestly i've only been using this model for about five months i don't feel the need to change it i've also grown to really like her also because i'm doing all the like logos and stuff like that right 
oh men mental health health -er. someone who is like in need of mental health care like depression or anxiety like ah okay okay interesting so if if you guys have like a OC or something like that, what is your concept for it? Would be nice to have an upgrade of this model instead of an overhaul. It would be uh, an upgrade and a bit of like outfit redesign, but also I think the facial features and stuff will be quite different. Uh, it will be more of um, frontal, like you know how most VTubers have a frontal model. Mine, this one is like sitting towards the side, right? Which I like quite a lot, but it also doesn't allow me to look to the right side, which is why I always put my model on the right, <laughs> because I cannot look that way. Uh, so there are some restrictions, but Min was um, being quite experimental with this current model that I had. So there was also, she redesigned, she designed it at first, then she redesigned it into this like softer style. So I really liked uh, the revision, uh, but it was also like an experiment for her. So. It's not her usual style. Her usual practice is like front-facing, regular VTuber um, perspective. La. So this is this was an, an experiment. But I'm happy to have been the subject of that experiment because I really like how I ended up looking in this pose. <laughs> Although people always say that I have a broken neck. Ah, what la. Like, okay, la, I have a broken neck but I'm pretty anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> I may have a broken neck. But I'm still pretty. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yep. So, okay. Now I'm wondering, like, should we put this new logo somewhere in my, somewhere in my just chatting screen? I feel like we should. Oh, what's this? <laughs> no, no worries. Go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys can hear everything going in the background from like... I think it was tracking my ponytail or something. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh no, she's so broken. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh no. Were they like tracking the back of my head or something? This is... Oh god. Thank you, Draco, for the clip. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Troubling. Call it Yunnan Ah. Mm. Thank you for the posture check. Okay, uh, I think let's look for a place to put our new logo, shall we? Ha, I'm very excited to use it. Where's the drink water one? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm drinking. So I'm sipping some now. I believe it's at two hundred channel points. Yeah, let me let me add a source, add a little image source, and it'll be logo with an exclamation point. Logo, where did I put my logo? I just made it. Where did I save my logo? Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, it's huge. Uh, how do I... Oh, <laughs> Where should I put this? It's damn cute, but where do I put it? Here? Up here? I drink so much water. Oh, Yeah, I got like one of those huge ones, or like a water dispenser. Top right is okay. Mm -hmm. Should I make it smaller? See ya, he may go to pack up. Good luck! See you, Patch! Thank you for coming today. I feel like I want to change my overlay. I've had this for a while now, but these were all like f a bunch of free assets just put together, so it's a bit incohesive. I think if I did my own overlay, it would look quite nice also. I used to have like a border around my streams, which I quite enjoyed, so I'm a little sad that I no longer have a border. Gotta go to bed. Oh, okay. See you, Blair. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the rate once again as well. Do follow Blair if you haven't. She is lovely, lovely. Hope to catch you again. Enjoy, enjoy. <coughs> bye bye. Okay. Oh, I want to put this logo in like my. Uh, what's that called? 
in my singing one also my idol stage why am i floating like that come back down to earth man good night okay but where should we put it here also now i just put the sub goal maybe at the bottom instead Yeah, this makes more sense, right? Above quest accepted. Yeah, that makes more sense. Dun dun! I have a logo! What an iconic moment. Hime and her first logo. It looks so good with this overlay, excuse me. It matches so well, huh? <laughs> I'm so proud of it. I was here. <laughs> Oh, they, them. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Yeah, check them out, check them out. Alright, shall we sing a song of celebration? Also, let me go and charge my iPad 10% already. <laughs> okay, wow, wow, my tracking is really going crazy today, ah. Uh. I also don't know why eh <laughs> Okay This is a really cute song called I wrote a love song with my wife And it's as adorable as it sounds Yeah, let me just change the category to music I will, I want to do more art later But it also depends on whether uh, Boyfi comes home soon Music break Are you wearing glasses? I am wearing glasses I don't know if I have light on that I normally don't. How did I oh, that's loud. So lucky with my best friend. This is so cute. Yeah. Yeah, I am wearing glasses. Maybe that's why. But also because like when I walk around the room then it tracks me very strangely. Do I have the lyrics? Where's the lyrics? This song, yeah, feels right. <laughs> <coughs> Can smell the diabetes. Good. How did I even, even get, get so, so lucky to wake up with my best friend? Pour your coffee with the milk and sugar and pray this never ends.
What was that la? Not y'all role playing in my chat. <laughs> I cannot. <sighs> Wait, I need to drink some water. <laughs> Thank you, Going Geek, though. Is it time for a rap god, Hime? Huh? 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 No, I don't know how to sing rap god. But I do know how to sing, like, some other songs, huh? Oh, those two. I just. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, please. Okay, uh, next song I can sing is. I've, I'm feeling in a mood today. So let's go Seven Rings by our Queen Ariana Grande. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> 